Trainers, welcome to I Play Pokemon TCG Pocket free to play for 30 days movie. If you've been here for a while, you have seen me put out these episodes week by week. If you're new, hi, welcome. This series is absolutely fantastic and gives you a perspective on what it's like to play this game free to play for 30 days with some additional color commentary if you've already seen the previous episodes. Let's dive in. Trainers, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing my unfiltered experience as a day one free to play player. I'm going to be continuing this series for 30 days. The next iteration of this video will be at the end of that where I just go over my experience, comparing it to my pay to play account. How many cards are you getting? How many packs are you able to open? Do I still think it's a positive experience for a free to play player on a freemium app like Pokemon TCG Pocket? Let's dive into it. Today, we are starting the brand new series free to play on my alternate Pokemon Pocket account. I have my pay to play account, which I'm sure you've seen some videos from by now, but I wanted to do a challenge for myself to experience the free to play model with a bunch of you all. Take a look at 30 days, what I can kind of expect, and just give me more insight on the types of videos I'm making types of deck profiles um and things of that nature so i hope you all enjoy this delroth free to play we're gonna rock the slow poke because you know he's getting cards slowly right he's chilling more booster pack goodness opening let's see what we've got cooking on our free to play so i think i don't know what i want to do i focus on mewtwo let's just rock the pikachu one i think why not why not who cares who cares what's optimal let's have fun Ooh, squirtle diggle it eris Rapidash and ooh, Arcanine. Okay, so Pikachu, I got the Arcanine. I think you're guaranteed an EX in that first pack. And then I think you're guaranteed a or an illustration rare as well for one of the basic Pokemon, Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur. I recorded this day one, so I wasn't aware of all these things. But when you pick between your first three packs, it's a lot like picking your starter. You get one guaranteed EX, one guaranteed um, illustration rare, whether that be Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur, as well as your structure deck. If you pick the Mewtwo pack, you are going to get Marowak EX, as well as the Bulbasaur illustration rare. If you pick the Pikachu pack, you are going to get the Arcanine EX and a Squirtle Illustration Rare. And if you pick the Charizard EX, you're going to get the Charmander Illustration Rare and Executor EX. So consider those first three packs kind of like your starters. Oh, looks good. I'm going to skip the basic intro stuff and kind of get back into it once we get more into opening stuff, seeing what I have and moving from there. So I'm still in the tutorial, but at this part of the tutorial, it's having me open a few more packs. And I definitely wanted to make sure we see all the packs I open and the cards I have to deal with because of the free to play model. So, so far, it's given you two packs. Um, right off the beginning. Oh, Ivysaur, Eevee, Ekans, Weedle, and oh, Giovanni. This is pretty okay. During this turn, attacks used by your Pokemon do plus 10 damage. Um, help for break points, depending on the deck you're using. You get five pack points per pack. Type them into our collection. Are they all unique? Ooh, one. Yeah, one was a must of 10. Yep, they're all unique. That's what I thought. Okay, Poke Gold, Rewind, Watch, Hourglass, Wonder Pick, um, level two. Wonder Pick is four. You can play your EXP from opening packs. So you've leveled up. You've just unlocked the Wonder Pig. Let's take a look at it. Wonder Pig, you all know. A certain amount of... Ooh, this is going to give me the Squirtle, it looks like. You have a certain amount of these um, Wonder Hearts. You get a look at the packs. Between them, um, you get one of the cards randomly. The player doesn't lose that card and is updated at regular intervals. They seem fairly generous on the Wonder Stamina that they give you um, up front. The Rewind Watch will let you pull from older ones. And I'm pretty sure on this one, it's going to give me the Squirtle. If I remember right. So you could reset or it might be one of the three packs between the two. So I got the Bulbasaur when I chose the Mewtwo pack. You, I got the Squirtle when I chose the Pikachu pack. And you probably get the Charmander when you choose the Charizard pack. Uh, it's all it's really nice to get a beautiful card like that right off for free. I think that's a generous model just because they're so these cards are stunning. All three of them, all three of the starters. That's a quick intro on wonder picking. You can say thank you after you get a wonder pick to give someone a shop ticket. Shop ticket lets you give some basic stuff. That's the end of the basic tutorial. Now wants me to explore some of the game's features. Pack stamina refills. So the booster, so open up booster packs every day. You get new features by opening new booster packs. So let's say my stamina is fully recovered. So give me two more booster packs. Please enjoy playing trading card game pocket. So it gave me two booster packs. Now it's giving me two more packs to open. You get a third one. If you get the premium pass, I'm doing totally free to play. I do think the premium pass is an excellent, excellent value. Well, you can subscribe to it for two weeks for free. Hmm, that might be something to play around with. I'm just going to focus, I think, on the Pikachu packs for this one. See what I can get. This one's already backwards. Hello, an error pack. Can you open these packs? Okay, we got Eradicate, the Duo, that little Sand Slash. See, that's our rare slot, Um, but they can be any spot, the Trio. So no EX, no character rare, no illustration rare. 
um getting some of the daily rewards as well this is definitely a game that you're gonna want to take a look at every day does that make sense Ooh, 16 cards dragonite love it pop them in our collection let's get one more pack open I'm gonna do pikachu again Whee! this one you can like peek at them i think oh yeah i think you can look at the borders on these and it'll tell you um you press and hold and push side to side but it doesn't look like i've got anything that's Slowbro, Mianfu, Growlithe and slash growl will work right with our arcanine ex um but no illustration rare no ex so, so far nothing nothing too much to cook with besides that arcanine ex that was given in the first pack if you want to pack salmon you can't open any let's try to reduce the pack open the pack button so that's five packs now okay pack number free so right again five packs for free day one Ooh, see this one's flipped around too no no i don't want it let's do we let's do this one okay let's take a look should we Oh, dang again I don't think anything in there okay frost moth heat more goldine sizzlepeed rapidash okay the basics in terms of power level aren't too far off from some of the EXs especially the second evolutions like Venusaur versus Venusaur EX doesn't have a huge huge power difference which is kind of nice um in this more of a limited free-to-play format okay so that's all the packs I've got I'm out of pack boosters I have 20 pack points I got five packs to open so let's take a look at our missions Let's see if this okay so we can log in it's probably gonna get us a six pack booster pack three hours of pack timers okay okay claim for daily oh four hours four hours i don't know why i saw that three let's see beginner i'm just gonna click complete oh i can't complete any it doesn't look like okay premium didn't get deck didn't get themed collections didn't unlock anything there can't battle until level three the question is am i stuck now like if i don't spend any money am i paused for the day Oh, I have a wonder pick maybe not maybe the wonder pick will push me over Ooh, I can get him you two again what, what do we got in here Ooh, Gengar Ooh, this is a good pack two yeah I think I definitely want to open this one these are good chances and I, I I'll rewind it probability rate for each is one in five okay equal rates love it let's see if I get Dragonite or Gengar good good odds in this one let's open this one Zubat dang okay <laughs> I, I wonder if I have enough to get some more wonder stamina and as well as rewind it back to try to pick from it again because that's like absolutely the best pack to pick out of another card I'm trying to see if I can get to level three um today looks like I'm pretty close okay have to proceed thank you of course cinnamon roll xd shout out to you so can I load this up again I have 12 so I can boost my stamina to three with 12 okay and this one is let's, let me check if I can rewind it I really like to pick from it again. This wonder pick can be restored. This wonder pick, ooh, pincer. Can be restored, can be restored. Oh, so the already picked ones you can't rewind. This one costs three. This one costs one. I might do a couple of the ones just to try to get some new cards, like a one and a two. I think let's let's pull from this then. Maybe we can get a sand slasher, a charmeleon. These are pretty good. And we'll do another one. Again, I'm trying to push myself to level three on day one so I can keep going. Gratatata. Okay. The picks are unlucky. Almost level three. Sure. I'll send you thanks. Okay, one more wonder pick, and I think it'll push me over. Need another one star. Here we go. There's some decent cards in here. Pidgeotto would be not bad. Tentacruel. Is this any good? Poison Tentacles. 50, 2 to 2. Now poison. That's not bad. Three six cards registered. And level three. Okay, so that's definitely one way to push yourself on day one to level three without waiting or buying anything is to open up three wonder packs I th if you get an ex pack maybe you get more experience I'm not sure um I do have some more but I'm going to hold off on that hmm this will be pack number six we're gonna open we got 12 more um I think I'm just gonna go for another Pikachu pack Rapidash for rare the duo on yard on yard again go lurk for other rare and no ex open four booster packs another little mission I, mean, I think i'm gonna move right over into decks into um the battling the first battling tutorial gives you one more pack so that'll be seven packs and then it gives you a chunk of cards for finishing the advanced part so here you can battle against ai or opponents from around the world let's start by checking out the rules in the guide so there's six there's 12 missions in this the first six give you a pack the next six each give you some exclusive cards um it's just really simply it goes over battling I am going to skip over this for the sake of time but it's just learning how to battle so 
okay so after completing the tutorial it throws you right into some ai deck matches my deck that i received on my free to play profile was rapidash deck i think that goes with the arcanine ex yeah i'm gonna do ponyta and then farfetch is a really really good card with leak slap for 41 colorless you can definitely toss that into any deck especially a budget deck um this is likely going to be a card you get fairly easily so i definitely recommend it so i'm gonna go ahead and bench my growlithe and end for turn we'll give my pony ta a fire energy next turn i'll probably just am winning you know i'm gonna try to get all the deck missions just when i can so something to look out for seat bomb 20 okay sent to scorch i can't do anything with that let's go ahead and toss a G on the bench, attach on Ponyta. Let's go ahead and hit Blair for 40. And I'll end our turn. And then they are going to be able to knock this out. So I'm going to start putting energies on Growlithe just again because I want to attack for advantage and hopefully I can draw my Arcanine. I didn't draw a Rapidash, which was pretty disappointing. Gives me one point. They're probably going to promote their Cottony, hit me with Attach um, for 10. Oh, that doesn't knock me out, actually. But, yeah. I won't be able to get it. I thought it did 20. It's pretty weak. Okay, Professor's Research. Can I get a Rapidash? I can get a Magmar and a Pokeball. I'm going to thin my deck. The Pokeball, Sizzlepeed, can't really do anything with this. We're going to go ahead and attach on the Growlithe. It does the same as Farfetch, but has a little more health. We're going to Flare. It should knock me out next turn. I'll knock it out with Growlithe next turn. And um, again, hopefully I can draw... Magmar is pretty good, actually. Hopefully I can just draw my Arcanine. Could have retreated, promoted, and some other stuff, but I think it could be all right. And promote our Growlithe to the active spot. At least with Professor's Research again. Come on, I only have what, seven cards left. Is there is there Arcanine EX in this? Maybe there's not. I didn't look at the cards. Is there is there a Rapidash in it? Like, <laughs> let's go ahead and put Sizzlepede down. I'm gonna attach on Sizzlepede. I don't love Senta Scorch because it discards all the energies on it. I think I should be fine. Hopefully they promote a Ratatata um, with one of the energies, and I just knock it out two turns. I need to take a look at the deck list. That'd be my recommendation. Because I, I assume I'd have a Growlithe EX in this, because I pulled it. But it doesn't, that doesn't, or Arcanine EX, but that does not seem to be the case. Current turn 11. Okay. I don't think so. Right, we're just going to attach on here. Evolve. I don't think there's any missions for evolving. I assume there would be. But it doesn't look like there is. All right, one more turn and then it's game. And then I'll have one more pack to open and those support cards. Go ahead and hit and end. Show you guys the next pack and that's pretty much going to do it for day one. I'm going to focus day two on trying to do most of the deck missions that I can do with what I have. And then seeing if I need to wait or what that feels like from this perspective. Onita, that was my MVP. Goaded. Like 50 cards. Knockout for okay, I got both the tasks. So that shrinks my timer, I think, by two hours if for first time rewards. So you can play. I could play through a swath of these. Okay, there's only one rapid ocean though. This. this is not great. That's not great. Let me see if I got another one. Um, we are going to edit out a Digi. Or another Rapidash for sure. And then we're also going to toss an Arcanine. Two Ponyta, two Growlithe. Let's kill the Eat more. Toss an Arcanine. Okay. That should make this quite a bit better, actually. So something to check with your basic deck to toss in your EX if it makes sense to. So you get pack timers from doing these for the first time rewards and you get shops for beating the challenges. So, you know, you could. Do I have any rental decks? I have no rental decks because I didn't pull an EX. Okay. So I only have Rapidash decks to do this. Makes this a little difficult. Let's go ahead and open our last pack and call it there for the day. Oh, did I claim my daily gifts? I don't think I claimed my daily gifts. I did not. You do have daily gifts as well, which is a rewind shop ticket and a 
box, which I'm not sure. Emblems. These are genetic apex special. These are from dusting your stuff. Some limited time, you know, emissions. I'm going to claim all, see what I got. Some more. Oh, okay. Beginner missions. Actually, so one, two, three, ten. Oh, so doing the beginner missions gets you ten more packs. That's great. Okay. So looks like day one, you can get at least 15, 16 packs. Probably a few more if you grind through a lot of those deck missions, depending on what you do. So there's tons to do. You know, edit a deck, apply card sleeves. I didn't do all these. Register a friend. Um, but these can push you over, oh, 120 hourglasses for doing the advanced mission. So I can register a friend pretty easy. You can apply a card sleeve. You can apply play mat. Flares are pretty easy. Thanks are also pretty easy. If you do a battle, obtain two flares, reach player six. So reach player six is going to be where you more get stuck on those advanced missions. Um, but I'm going to open the 10 packs. I'm just going to open Pikachu packs, I think, again, because I want to get some more EXs in this. Let me see if Arcanine EX is in this. Let me check the offering rates again, because that's what I think I'm going to flush my deck around out just because, yeah, OK, it is um, just because I already got one and, you know, you want consistency. Let's open 10 Pikachu packs, see what we can cook up. Oh, we can actually open almost more than 10. That was really nice that those beginner missions give you 10 more free packs. And this is really satisfying to open. So that's a ton of packs. Day one. Okay, Blitzel, Need Arena, Caterpie, Raticate, Substrica. So you can get almost 20. You can probably get 20 packs on day one. Like if you play your cards right, Raichu, that's decent. Psyduck, the Uptile, Sand Slash. Okay, not too bad. Should we take a peek on this one? Yeah. No, nope, doesn't look like anything. Jigglypuff, Honeyard, Mian Shao, Caterpie, Golurk. A peek? A peek? <gasps> oh, they done there. The peek, the peek is fun. I recommend peeking. You bring joy. Ooh, that Voltor bar is beautiful. Psyduck again. Dugong. Oh, Zapdos EX. Flip four coins. This attack does 50 damage for each heads. I think that's pretty good, honestly. You flip a lot. I'm not a huge fan of coin only mechanics, but flipping four is decent. Ooh. Oh, there's a rare. That's a rare. Sand Slash, Mianfu, Double. Oh, and a regular Zapdos. Okay, maybe we're going Lightning Deck. Are you damaged one my bench Pokemon? There's some Pokemon that does more if it has um damage already done to it. A double pack? Okay, okay. The 10 pack is really is really pushing me over. Paris, horsey. Oh, a Snorlax art rare. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's lost? Another Zapdos deck. Okay. See, this is we're playing Zapdos now. We're playing Zapdos. This was free to play. I have a two EX deck if I want to play an EX deck. I think the basics are pretty decent too. Um, nothing in this one, but no prob, no prob. The sharp wiggly tough Brock. I don't think Brock's any good. Drowsy ew. Nothing in this one. I, I like how I'm like physically thinking. Lieutenant Surge. Right to Electro Electabuzz. Mm. Eh. The theme deck seemed interesting. I'm, I'm feeling a theme decked challenge potentially. Take a look, a peek. Nothing here, nothing here. Ponyard, Onyx, Ekans, Seedra. Ooh, that's cool. Is that your last one, maybe? Nothing in it. Swoobat, Whimsicott. Wobbuplus, Rattata, Set of Scorch. Good deal. The two Zapdoses are crazy. And I can toss out Snorlax. Snorlax is pretty easy to, um, wow, it's cute, to toss in as well to your, you know, you can splash it. You can splash it in most decks, probably. A little pricey, but it's colorless. I'm mean, not too bad. Good deal. And that brings you to 100 cards day one. It looks like to about 20 packs day one free to play, which is a good chunk to get you started. I think I got lucky with the two Zapdos EXs. Um, I think it makes sense a lot in the beginning to hone in on one pack with um, a chunk of cards you're most interested in. Not necessarily what you think is a good deck, not necessarily, but just something to get your deck consistent. Like you want two of the cards in it. Like I want two Snorlaxes in my deck. Well, Snorlax is more of a splash, but your main card, like your main evolutions, like you want to run two Growlithe, two Arcanine, right? If you're doing the EX, stuff like that. So just something to think. I have another pack. I'm gonna say, if I played one more mission, I could do one more. I think that'd be 20. I lost track. <laughs> it's hard to remember. You, uh, I'm opening up so many things, you know, I'm chatting, but yeah, the, the day one free to play experience does feel good. Nothing in there. Drowsy, Sand Slash, Sand True, Ponyta, Whimsicott. And if I play one more battle, oh, it actually got me to level four, I think. It did. Okay, it pushed me to level four, day one, got display boards, got more hourglasses for more hacks. <laughs> Uh, display boards have been unlocked. 20 more hourglasses by creating display boards that are uniquely yours. We go ahead and complete all these missions. There's a lot of shop tickets. You know, I'm close to most of these other things. Advanced. Again, these advanced not too bad, and you could get 
10 more packs if you finish the advanced missions. I'm not going to do it today, um, but I am going to do it soon. Tomorrow, probably. Deck missions. Ooh. So I have the Lieutenant Surge deck mission, so I can use the Lieutenant Surge deck 10 times for the rental. What's in this? Is there an EX in it? No EXs. I think this is a little monster heavy. Two Pikachu, two Raichu, two Magnemite, two Magneton. Expensive, but you can move stuff around. Wait, is there no Lieutenant Surge in this deck? Four, eight, 12, 16. Okay, there's one. I think I would have put two in it, but that's okay. It's a pretty solid deck. You can use the rental deck 10 times. Oh, and I got another one. Oh, Brock deck too. I'm not interested in Brock deck. <laughs> Lieutenant Surge deck seems okay, but not amazing. And then I didn't get any of the other ones because I didn't get any of the EXs. So the EX rentals are Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Machamp. There's some cool ones in here as well. One last thing I want to review, if you're unhappy with the chunk of packs you open, um, starting as a free-to-play player, you can go into settings, you can go into account, um, and you can scroll down and you can delete your save data. So after about 30 minutes of play, busting open all those packs you wanted, you can decide to go ahead and re-roll that account. If there's an illustration card you're looking for, or if you're really wanting one of the immersive full arts, I recommend potentially re-rolling your account a couple times to get exactly what you want. This practice is pretty common in gacha games. And I'm almost level five, to be honest. So, that, but that is going to do it for me for day one. You can definitely spend half the day, day one, free to play, no problem, either battling friends, customizing your deck, we're finishing a lot of the battle solo missions um i will catch you all tomorrow i think in between now and then i'm going to do some of the missions see how far i can get just my free time um and see how many more packs i have open for day two catch y'all then i'm gonna be honest day one is absolutely insane you get so many packs thrown at you you have so many missions you have so many things to do and some of you if not most of you are also spending your time re-rolling on day one you could easily spend if you're not re-rolling four hours if you are re-rolling potentially eight hours on day one to play the game. Day one is a blast. I had so much fun doing it. And if I could do it again, you know what? I might not, but if I had more time and not already two accounts, I would absolutely want to try it again just to experience, you know, like this general bliss behind opening new cards, seeing the art behind the cards, just experiencing something new and in my opinion, beautiful the first time. Trainers, welcome back to another Pokemon TCG Pocket video. Today is the continuation of the much-loved free-to-play series. This is days two through five. You will not believe the packs I opened. Thank you so much and enjoy. For day two, I opened the two free packs, got an EV illustration rare, did a wonder pick, didn't get anything good, and then completed a handful of the single player missions. Doing these will give you additional hourglasses the first time you complete them to allow you to open even more packs. If you do some of the subtasks on them, you can get the shop tickets and there's a handful of hourglasses to reduce even more packs in the shop tickets as well. This does cap though. Welcome to day three for free to play. I'm sitting at about 305 hourglasses. I've got no packs ready to open yet. How many of the single player battles did I manage to get through? A lot of the beginner, a lot of the step up, and it looks like a handful of the, these step ups as well. So again, doing these the first time do give you some hourglass rewards to get more packs to start off. You get five, which reduces five hours, takes 24 hourglasses, get a pack for the day, as well as some shop tickets in the shop. And this is something I'm still not super clear on, even with a few days with the app. When you go to the shop, you have the option to buy with shop tickets some hourglass reductions right Ooh, a complimentary item set love to see it haven't got that yet um and i exchanged all all of these i let you get 10 of all these i i don't know when this resets um that's something i'm very interested in finding out but today we're going to open a slew of more packs i'm going to continue opening the pikachu packs i think the pikachu ex deck is something that's pretty easy to get online and i already have some zap doses so that's kind of the direction i'm going to pursue Day one, we opened 17 booster packs. Day two, I only opened two, so 19. So this is going to be my 20th booster pack. I think that's definitely a good amount overall. And compared to my pay, pay to play account, I've been able to make a lot more decks, but I was able to make a solid deck after just one day. And again, you can re-roll it um, if you're looking for something specific. I kind of just want to give more of a, just like a day one. I'm a casual player, exactly what I can do, what I can work towards. So today we're just going to be opening more packs. This is going to be pack number 20 for day three. I'm also going to continue the missions and see, should we peek? nothing good blitzel voltorb this voltorb i think is pretty good electro does a free retreat and i really like that frost moth seen some interesting things with sleep as well need arena pretty pretty decent pack um nothing new but that's all good <laughs> um again i'm looking for pikachu ex oh i do have enough hourglasses to open 10 packs 
let's bust open 10 115 oh we can get like so it's 20 so this will be 30 packs reading some of your all's comments and when i open these packs if i see a like extra sparkle it's there some people are calling it a rare pack but i opened an actual rare pack the other day i think it's just giving you maybe rarer cards in the pack i'm not exactly sure what it means but i know when you get a little bit of a little bit of a glow when you open the pack something good is gonna happen you're gonna get something good um so when you open these let's see if any of them kind of do that none of them did that um so hopefully today we can see that okay we've got one good one arbok i think there's some interesting poison decks to run squirtle helix fossil that's new growl Ooh, and the illustration diglet the tree was pretty decent actually with the flip a coin and you can prevent damage i don't mind that at all pikachu okay eevee gold duck encino and a golem very good take a take a picaroni nothing in here golurk wigglytuff squirtle magnemite bruxish again really looking for pikachu ex electabuzz not too bad cottony substriga i I've, i want to play around a little bit more with this i think it could be good golurk has some interesting options flip two coins I like Zapdos for flipping four coins Ooh, a rare in here sand slash goldine eat more seal Jolteon um I think Jolteon's pretty decent flipping four coins feels a lot better than flipping two in my opinion Ooh, another electrode okay very good see zero retreat two energy 70. it's pretty decent like attacker um it won't knock out Mewtwo in two unless you have a Giovanni and you need an 80 and a 70 to hit that 150 if they don't heal um but I'm definitely seeing a lot of Mewtwo as being Ooh, wait Ooh, Rainbow. I don't I don't exactly know what that border is Voltorb Psyduck and is it a oh it's a crown rare Charizard EX oh my gosh so day three free to play I managed to get a crown rare Charizard is not my favorite I'm not a Charizard man I am definitely gonna hold on to this the crown rares do look really really good I don't love the gold cards and paper TCG they're not my favorite um it's exciting because it's rare I don't find it exactly exciting um because it's gold but but when you do move it on the app I do find it, it looks pretty good so that's that's a really exciting pull as a free-to-play player um just to give you guys an idea I think that is exceptionally lucky um to pull that we can take a look at the odds again that was my fifth slot um but the slots are randomized another golem no Pikachu EX I would have loved the Pikachu crown rare <laughs> for this account but it's all good Geodude Seal Onyx that's 30 packs so in under 30 packs I got a crown rare honestly that feels amazing. oh a Nido King illustration rare um Nido King Nido Queen deck might have some potential too based on these Pikachu packs your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned I do like poison um I do like I have been liking some muck um wheezing action I think that's a decent budget deck potentially I definitely have plans um coming up very shortly to make and uh, frankly it might be already out by the time we get to this video of some of the beginner decks you can make based on your EX card you pull in the pack as well as the structure deck that comes with one of the three initial packs you pick already up to 151 on my collection 180 cards very cool that chunk of 10 was was cool in terms of the rarity and the stuff I've got but not necessarily cool in trying to build the decks I'm looking for which is just Pikachu <laughs> but um I do really the getting the crown around that charts are really exciting really really exciting already at this point on the free to play account um Diglett illustration rare Nido King illustration rare 80 different cards already really enjoying the free-to-play experience so far so again when we open these I'm going to take a look and see if anything sparkles let's see nothing shot out okay okay we still have some time Ooh, an illustration right back there another Voltorb Sea King Drowsy Seedra and oh a Nido Queen illustration rare Nido Queen Nido King deck might be the move might be the move Ooh, I I don't know all the borders but it's really I really like peeking especially while I'm filming I'm um, Pinsir Swoobat Magikarp and oh Boss Toys EX okay I haven't I do like Misty I think Misty's pretty decent I think water decks um are, are pretty solid so that Blastoise EX is going to give me give me give me a rental deck to start off with um to help me with some of the fire based missions Horsey and Hypno once you're in your play once you're in your turn you may flip a coin of heads your opponent's active Pokemon has now sleep oh that might actually be a pretty good um you know card just to run like not even in a psychic deck like don't draw any psychics but just to have that I haven't played around with sleep I haven't played around with a ton of decks Slowpoke, Ponyard, Brock, Clefairy, another Electrode. Okay, okay. Let's. Where's my Pikachu EX? Another rare. Wulu, Nidorina, Goldeen, Jigglypuff, another Nido King. Okay, Nido King, Nido Queen. I think we're we're cooking. I think we're cooking. Nothing here. Heat more Jigglypuff, Lilligant, Lilligant. I've I've found to be pretty decent too. Um, in Grass decks to accelerate. Any any energy acceleration. Right now we have Gardevoir to accelerate a Psychic, Moltres to accelerate a Fire, and Lilligant to accelerate a Grass. But I found um I've been doing some executor EX it only needs one energy so 
don't need to accelerate a ton on that. Nothing here. Wulu, Chinchino, Clavapus, Heatmore, Bisharp. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, I, that's an illustration rare. I know that border. Clavapus, Chinchino, Drowsy, Farfetch, and oh, another Eevee. I do like this. I wanna, I was, I wanna play around with an Eevee deck too. Um, I was trying to like Dragonite, Vaporeon, Jolteon kind of vibe, but I'm not really liking split energies very much. Um, I'm finding it pretty hard, but that was a decent chunk of 10 packs. One EX, handful of rare cards, still no Pikachu in sight for after 40 packs um, on our free to play app on our free to play account, <laughs> but a decent chunk of cards and the crown rare is really exciting. Blastoise EX, getting a lot of new cards, just focusing on the Pikachu packs um, for this account. I think it is smart if you're looking for something specific to, oh, 100 different cards, to focus in on one of the pack sets. And I think Pikachu is a solid bet. Take a look at the, oh, leveling up to, oh, leveling up to 10, 12 hourglasses, 12 packs, 12 packs. Okay, so every level you get pretty decent rewards too. Let's take a look at how many missions we've gone through as well. Complete all, probably finish the daily missions. Yep. I want to take a look at my wonder pick. I'm really, again, looking for Pikachu. Let's see our dex mission, some shop tickets. These are mostly, you get some pack hourglasses, some wonder, wonder hourglasses as well. Okay, we have our Charizard deck. We can now rent for 10 games. Help with some of the grass missions. We've got our Blastoise deck for some of the fire missions for single player. I'm curious if I can get through them, all the challenges. With the, oh, we got both of them. And we can rent this. That's very cool. What does it got? Tauros. Kangaskhan's a decent. Yeah, I would like to see another X speed and not a potion in this for sure. Um, and I, yeah, I think Kangaskhan Tauros. So I might sub out for far fetches if I were to like try to optimize a little bit tighter. I don't think you can change any of the cards on the rental deck though. So we got three rental decks. That's really cool. So we've got some of theme collections. Okay, Elect was a Magmar. Okay. Again, the rewards are pretty good, but. I'm wondering when they're gonna when I feel like they're gonna start to slow down. Mouse Pokemon. Oh, I got the little Pikachu. These are mouse Pokemon. Sand Shroom, Sand Slash. I'm, I'm, they're giving Armadillo, and this is giving Rat. But you know what? TCG Pocket. However you want to play. Electrode Icon. Very cool. I really like the Net Electrode. I think it looks great. Taking a look at the Wonder Picks. So that's 40 packs total after day three. Taking a look at these Wonder Picks. Really looking for Pikachu EX in my Wonder Picks here. There's an Alakazam Illustration Rare. Willing to use an Hourglass to get Pikachu. Ooh, Dragonite, Marowak, Cubone. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to hold all of my Wonder Tokens. And then offline, I'm again going to keep working through all the solo battles. Um, and we come back, I might try to do some of the missions within them. Like, see, on this Venusaur EX, I probably missed, like, the Knockout with Fire. But now I have the Fire Rental deck. So based on the Rental decks, um, I'm going to see how many missions I can get through still with free to play. So after day three, we've got 40 packs. Um, it's still feeling really good. I feel like I can definitely make some solid decks with these packs. Um, definitely feeling like I'm going to toss more electrodes in my electric deck and kind of get out of some of the less ideal cards. I'm not interested in crafting. It's feeling pretty expensive to craft cards. You need 500 pack points to open. To, to get any of the EXs, you can see your pack points. Two craft cards, you can click on your pack area and they're right here on your right and you can look at them and they tell you. So every pack gives you five points. You need 500 to craft any of the EXs. It's just kind of expensive. You can have 2,500 pack points total before you have to spend them. It looks like I didn't pay attention to that earlier. And 2,500 is going to be the cost of a crown rare, I believe, if I can scroll the way bottom. It is. So we've locked in one of them. Pikachu EX is coming home someday soon in this free to play series. Trust. So I'm going to save the rest of my hourglasses to open 10 packs at a time. You know, that's just how I like to open it. And I will catch you all on day number four. Let's see how far I get. Trainers, welcome to day number four of the free to play series. I managed to get through a decent chunk of some of the battles um, just the other day evening. I had a comment that was saying, are these battles, you know, auto battle? Yes, you can auto battle any of these. Um, it's not particularly good, the feature. The AI is pretty bad, and I found myself losing a lot with the Zapdos deck I made based on what we opened in the first couple episodes, but I was able to get all the way through step-up battles. Okay, they all say step-up battle. Doing the beginner and the intermediate ones took me about mm, a little over an hour. I had someone asking about the time, and doing the advanced battle took me any about 30 minutes to an hour as well. And so today we're going to open a big chunk of packs, see what else we can get to potentially add into our deck. You know what? I'm, we have uh, 10 hourglasses. We have 10 packs worth of hourglasses, two of our free packs. I really want Sabrina. I think I want to move towards that. I know I'm saying Pikachu EX, but 
I'm I'm feeling like I'm missing out on the Sabrina. Okay, Misty's in the Pikachu one. I feel like it's in Charizard. Um, Sabrina is in this pack. Okay, we are going to open 10 Charizard packs then. After we open up our two free ones. I've been enjoying the free-to-play series by day four. I am a little worried about doing exactly the battles. Things are starting to slow down. Ooh, that one sparkled different. Is there ooh? Is that another is that a, is that a crown rare? <laughs> Again. Ponyta, Pinchurch, and New Mankey. <laughs> I'm getting so many crown rares on the free to play account. I got the Charizard in the last one. These are so <laughs> rare. I've not spent a dime on my main account. Um, I've spent over like $250, I think, and I have one crown rare. Um, this this account is is blessed. So if you're thinking about playing free to play, definitely do it. Definitely consider rerolling your account, like we talked about in the first video. If you haven't checked that out. I definitely recommend it before getting into the rest of these. And at the end of these, I'll plan to compile them all into one as well. So you can watch them in one spot but we have two crown rares but that is actually so exciting to get the mewtwo crown rare in the charizard pact I, I was not not expecting that at all mewtwo is a really strong deck i don't have a lot of the staples i need to open it with um but that was cool we saw the sparkle or the crown hitmonchan blitzel woobat charmeleon again i am looking for sabrina okay sabrina today is our goal I, I i know a lot of the borders now based on just the amount of packs i've opened since this game has come out but the crown wares I haven't seen very often, so I definitely did not know exactly what those would look like. So today I think I'm just going to mostly open packs, take a look at what our deck list is currently looking like. I'm going to try to get into the um, master battles as well. Any special? Oh, so we got that special pop up. I still don't exactly know. Oh, an illustration around this one. Exactly know what the special pop up. Oh, an Alakazam illustration rare. I did not have that. Excellent. I haven't made Alakazam work, but I'd love to try. I don't exactly know what the sparkly. Oh, I think that's the. Full art EX. Oh my god. Oh, just a normal EX. Just a normal EX. The f I get those two like a little mixed when I just take a peek at these. I cannot believe this is going so well. Nine Tails. Still looking for Sabrina's. Ooh, there's a rare back there. Heat more. Clobopus. Ponyta. Oh, Moltres. I forgot what I was saying before that. I got distracted by pretty colors. Mankey. Oh, Polyrath. Ooh, that's a illustration rare. Mankey, Chinchino, Magmar, and ooh, a Gloom. I do like this art a lot. I don't think Gloom is particularly strong. Um, I haven't done a ton with the Vile Plume line at all. I haven't been liking. Ooh, the rare second. Ooh, a Greninja. Greninja definitely could be cool to play around with. Sun Scorch. What do we got in here? Ooh, is it, this just an EX? I think another Machamp EX. Okay, we can cook up some Machamp stuff. Definitely will help out with the missions. Seeing that we unlock two of those the ones that we need the fighting for. Hmm. <laughs> uh, full art? Full poke. Psyduck. And oh, a Moltres EX. Just the EX. I mix those up a lot. I can definitely cook up a Charizard, maybe. I think I have only one, though. Okay, I think that that's just an EX. I'm getting so many EXs. An Executor EX. I think that's my second one. I can definitely do a deck with that. Okay, so I don't think we got Sabrina. So that is pretty disappointing. But that's okay. I didn't want one anyways. I don't have any more packs to open. I do have some wonder picks to look at. Let's take a look at the wonder picks. See? And maybe I can get really lucky. That was a crazy pack. I can't believe I got another crown rare. Um, two on the free to play. I only have one on my main. <laughs> I'm really interested to see how trading is implemented. I think there could potentially be a lot of problems with people, you know, just like resetting lots of different accounts um, and trading back and forth between them. So I, I'm hoping they implement a sort of timer. Um, between them something else we could consider thinking about is trading the same rarity so you know you have an extra crown rare and so you can get one of the crown rares um something like that might be good to implement too but if you have a friend who just wants to give you a card that's not going to work out that way um so maybe not the best deal but just something to really avoid people farming reset packs okay the air packs flipped over stress me out let's see any any fun light here no 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 what's in here nothing maybe a uh, sabrina oddish sizzlepeed plus what arbok and no brina <laughs> <laughs> so the hunt for Sabrina continues. Again, this is day four, you all. I'm going to try and do the rest of those missions. Um, I might play some online battles to get some EX a little bit of EXP. Okay, because we got the Crown Rare Mewtwo. I don't know if the rental deck is any good for Mewtwo. I never played with it. Ooh, and the Machamp deck, but we have two. So I might cook up a fighting deck with Machamp, see what I've got um, in the mix for that. But that will probably... Any more missions? I think we got them all. I think that will do it. For day four, offline, I'm going to work through some of these solo battles. Um, I'm going to come back and maybe show how I complete all of them all the way. 
with the free to play count as well as a couple verses i don't expect i'll play any more than an hour today maybe two so that'll bring my total play time up for free to play players to about mm, opening packs included five five six hours maybe like an hour a day maybe a little bit longer and i'll catch you all on day five trainers welcome back to day five of the free to play series earlier today i managed to wonder pick in another multrace which is super exciting getting us pretty close to having the charizard ex deck i would like another charizard um interestingly enough i am missing charmanders so but you know we've got two moltraces and one crown rare charizard um that we are can play around with show that off i can't i truly can't believe how incredibly lucky this free to play account has been getting two crown rares just in the first five days of the account um being online so there's just a little bit of show off for you all none of the illustration rare or immersive arts or anything but um yeah pretty 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 insane luck overall i can't build anything with it yet but from a collecting perspective and from a just looking at my you know ipad in the evening perspective really great so what i've done in between now and then is one we have two packs to open um and 74 hour glasses which is a little bit less than i would like because i like to open 10 packs at a time in addition in terms of the solo battling which is kind of my theme moving forward for the rest of this i did manage to complete every single um one of just the beat them once with my deck which was this um Zapdos deck so it's running I really don't like the Snorlax in there but it's got zero Sabrinas <laughs> um two Zapdos EXs two Voltorbs two Electrodes an Electabuzz which I never use a Zapdos which I occasionally use and a far too far-fetched which honestly kind of the MVP um of this free-to-play deck and what I'd like to do moving forward is really try to see how far I can get on these solo missions with some of the rental decks I do have a few right I have the Charizard oh I have quite a quite a handful see how far I can get I've used the Brock one a little too much let's see how far these rental decks can in fact get us let's go ahead and open our packs I'm gonna work towards the Charizard deck because I think that's one of my stronger deck options that I can do moving forward on this Pikachu EX would be good I know I talked a lot about focusing on that one but you know we have one Charizard we have two Moltraces we have zero Charmanders so yeah oh nothing in the first one nine tails heliolus helioptile Ooh, something for the um electric deck maybe two tech in instead could be pretty nice how many cards are we how many cards are we at now we are at 300 total collected pretty decent what do we got Ooh, okay anything in here Ooh, a rare card swoobat machop mankey holly whirl and executor i do love the art on this one stomp another flip coin simulator card i am deep into level 13. um yesterday to finish up those missions i probably played for about an hour maybe an hour and a half I just did it while I was watching a movie um so that's a great thing you can do with this and I've done a couple of online battles too just to go ahead and get those exp points because you do get some pack reduction timers when you do that we got 12 what is that it's going to give us about five packs close to six all right number three we do a backwards one Ooh, an error an error pack let's do it Ooh, nothing special I I <laughs> you can't see me do backwards Arbok okay Ekans I like the rainbow on it Swana and Wubat okay nothing in there nothing too exciting today but we have plenty more oh we have another card in here I missed it eradicate oh, all right oh I wonder did, I've literally never tried the tap and hold feature I'm excited to take maybe a little look at that also I want to address some of the comments I saw a handful of people saying that when the pack some of the packs have like a little extra animation when you open them it's like a little bit of an extra sparkle boost that is not indicative of the rare pack I opened a rare pack went back through my footage it's doing that same sparkle that that pack is giving you rare cards but the rare packs are guaranteed to be full arts or alternate arts or EXs so that's just something to consider you are going to get good cards when you see the sparkle Ooh, you have a I think that's an illustration basic you're going to get something good in it oh Rapidash which is new and great for fire which is what we're working towards with these openings just because we have the one Charizard and the two Moltres Rapidus does not really benefit from energy acceleration because it only needs one and it's only a one cost retreat Mewtwo packs will probably be the next ones I start opening up because the Sabrina is just going to be a staple in every single deck honestly saying that out loud while I'm sitting here I might open up Mewtwo packs or, or wait I think Sabrina's and Charizard I'm gonna take a look I need some Sabrina's what do we got nothing extra here anything oh, nothing in there dome Machop Petlil Swana and Golurk okay so you do get this Sabrina okay this is definitely the pack I want to be opening then what's what, what do we got cooking nothing a duo Cottony 
Kadabra, Hitmonchan, and Kadabra. This one. Let's do it. What do you got? All right. Tangela. Ooh, nothing in here. Okay. Mawile. Rapidash. Okay. Go, go. And Gloom. I don't think I've opened a Charmander still. True check. Like, surely Charmander is in the Charizard pack. <laughs> I haven't fully fleshed out. No, I still do not have a Charmander. Is it not common? It might. Maybe we craft it on the free to play. If we open another Charizard, I think we might have to. I can double check the store to see if I have any points to open anymore today. I don't think I do, but I might. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Nothing. Golit, Execute, Holly Whirl, Psyduck, and Pinchurchin. I've used up all my luck on those ground rares. None are left. I'm excited for when trading comes out for those on the free to play account because I would definitely be interested in either maybe trading them over to my pay to play account or just trading them to flesh out some of the key cards we're still missing on here. I have spent all my hourglass tickets or yeah. And I'm curious when these refresh. I think it's going to be every month, just like the special, like the purchased pass. OK, like these only refresh every month, which has been pretty interesting. There is a one time two week no trial cost. That might be something I play with moving forward, but I don't know if they're going to keep that forever. So I don't want to touch it if it's not something I think they're going to keep around. Anything in here we want really just Charizard or Sabrina. Charizard or ooh, Arcanine EX. No, no, no. Charizard or Sabrina. Ooh, there's a Sabrina. Could go for that one. Cubone, very sad. Where's my Charizard and Sabrina? We could bring one back as well. Okay, I think I'm just going to go for the Sabrina one. Because I think that'll really elevate a lot of our stuff to just have that. And every single Wonder Pick, I don't know if you guys have like a lucky slot, but I always pick the top right. It's done me, it's done me very well. Let's see if I can keep up how well it's doing me. Sabrina. <laughs> every time. Not every time. Like 85, 90% of the time I get the card I want. That's huge. Because I can go in every single deck in this account now and i just need one more let me see let's let's take a look at the collection right now see what we're missing so let's let's see our hole we've got ivysaur we don't have a ton of grass cards we have two executors or just one we just have one came with our charizard pack no charmander we do have two moltres exs i could just try a moltres like arcanine rapidash thing that might work pretty good is it one blast toys one blast toys um not a lot of water cards electric's been what i've been using so far could maybe try it Toss in a Pikachu Raichu line. Ooh, the Heli, Heli Heliopile. I can't say this. And Heliolisk. That that line might be decent to toss out because I want to get rid of the Snorlax. I'm not using that at all on the deck. I do want to play around with Drowsy Hypno too. I think Sleep Pendulum is interesting just to have um, kind of in your back pocket, especially with this more limited pool I'm playing with. Like I said, Charizard's been our MVP. And for our cards again, two, <laughs> two Crown Rares, um, which is insane insane the pull rates on those and then pretty good full arts as well rapidash definitely want to play around with that nino king nino queen do i have one of these one of these could be something there play with eevee haven't cooked up a good eevee deck nor alakazam this attack does 30 damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon um that could be pretty good for each energy yeah especially up against a mewtwo that's gonna knock it out pretty much guaranteed <laughs> there might be something there okay I will catch you guys all in day six. I have a feeling my day two through five experience might be a little different from you all's. At this point, I was pulling ground rares, which is so rare. It's an absolute rares card you can pull. It was so exciting to pull it on my free to play account. I'm still having a ton of fun at this game at this point, just trying the missions, you know, playing around. You're still opening quite a bit of packs because you're leveling up quick. You're completing missions for more timers. You're completing the PVM missions. You're doing tons of stuff. First five days, first week, frankly, is really exciting and really fun. And I had a lot of fun on both my pay to play and free to count. From my pay to play perspective, I was trying different decks, making new decks, playing around, you know, on the ladder or just against other people. And on the free to play account, I was really enjoying just seeing the missions I could do, collecting the new cards and taking my time. It's a different experience, but the free to play one still really is amazing. Trainers, welcome back to another video. This is my third installment of the much requested I play Pokemon TCG Pocket free for 30 days. And after these couple of days, Pokemon Company, I think me and you I think we need to have a talk. 
let's dive into it. I was actually traveling for all of this video that I recorded, so the setup's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go over the packs that I opened, and then at the end, we're going to do some gameplay and talk about my feelings and experiences so far. Day seven, I actually opted to open up some Charizard packs to maybe give our Charizard crown rare some support. I don't have any of the necessary components right now. I managed to get a Charmander as well as a Snom, which isn't relevant to the Charizard deck, but Snom Frostless, Water Control, is pretty solid right now so pretty happy with those two i also managed to pick my second copy of sabrina which is absolutely insane and probably going in every single one of my decks on my free to play account right now really really watch out for that if you see wonder pick sabrina i definitely recommend going for it for day number eight i opted again to open two of the charizard packs i managed to pull one new card in my first pack and in the second pack we pulled a second illustration alakazam and another new card it might be something in our future for running some alakazams on our free to play on day eight, i tried to wonder pick some staples as as well but really ended up missing i did manage to snag a gold duck for a basic water deck though which is pretty decent for day number nine i opted to open up mewtwo packs and it was really exciting i opened up an articuno in the first slot on the first pack and something i want to talk about is how these card slots are generated Usually when we open traditional paper cards, there are three slots, at least for the Scarlet and Violet era, in the back where you can get a hit. These hits can be, you know, full arts, they can be illustrations, they can be EX cards. In Pokemon TCG Pocket, we have five slots, and the back two slots, four and five, can be rare. However, these cards are all generated when the carousel pops up in that particular order. However, when you pick on the pack, you know, when you go to select pack, swipe it, that order inside the pack is actually totally randomized. So if you see an EX up front, and get excited that you may have the potential for a god pack odds are it's probably not just when you thought day nine couldn't get any better i actually managed to pick up a gardevoir on the wonder trade as well which was really exciting and one step closer towards making mewtwo and some psychic combinations work on day number 10 i opted to open up mewtwo packs as well i actually only opened up one pack i totally fell asleep before i opened the second pack i managed to pick up three new cards and i just been really tired from traveling a lot but I did manage to find a Toys R Us during the day. Let me know when the last time you all saw one of those. I was actually really surprised to see this, and it was pretty exciting and a, definitely a big nostalgia hit for me. For day number 11, I actually opted to open up Mewtwo yet again due to such good luck. The first pack I opened up, it actually managed to shine. And remember, shine equals good. And I took a peek, and I saw the rainbow border, and I knew with the rainbow border, it was going to be an EX illustration rare. And when I got all the way back to it, it was actually a Gengar, which is really cool. I haven't played around with Gengar, but it is pretty solid. And then when I opened up the second Mewtwo pack, it shined as well. So again, shine, good. And at the end of that pack, it was a Pidgeot illustration rare. I haven't run Pidgeot, but I really, really love the art on this card. So that was such a good day of pack openings after missing one pack the day before. Day number 11 kept getting better. On Wonder Trade, I saw a Rolts, picked the Rolts, one more step closer towards Mewtwo. And after getting Gengar, I was on the hunt for some of those pieces as well. Saw a Haunter in the mix and managed to snag that as well. For day number 12, I opened up two new cards. Um, but nothing too good in terms of deck building. And I tried to wonder pick a Jolteon as well, but missed on that. I've had a lot of success with a basic Lightning deck in my pay to play account. And I was really trying to pick up a Jolteon because that was the last piece I need on the free to play account, the second Jolteon. And that brings us to the present. Hello, it's it's day number 13, Dell, who brought you all the commentary as well. We're gonna open up two packs, gonna take a look at our collection, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna, it's gonna be a yap session for a little while. I think I'm just going to go ahead, frankly, and open up two Mewtwo packs again. I've had good success with it. Um, I've been happy with where it, you know, where it stands. Um, ooh, I don't know if I flipped that one over or not. I was paying enough attention. Let's do this one. I think Juice. Ooh, Grimer. That's not too bad. Shelter, new. Another Grimer. Giovanni. Rapidash. I think I'm maybe sleeping on Giovanni. Some of you folks have been like, leave. Giovanni's good. And I'm like, oh, it's 10 damage. And he's good. Like, it's 10 damage. <laughs> it's good and i was like after i lost to it enough i said you know what maybe it is good <laughs> maybe maybe maybe, it, maybe it's not good but maybe it's totally playable especially depending on what you're running is there any that are flipped backwards i love the ones that are flipped backwards no okay let's do this one no sparkle Ooh, at least a rare card cubone Ooh, aerodactyl i don't think aerodactyl is good but love to add it to our collection cubone and grab lock okay Nothing new. Let's or nothing, you know, nothing new that's exciting. It's exciting to build towards our collection. Let's not, you know, dock on that part of it, even though I feel like a lot of my focus for the free to play account has been trying to see what decks I can build and what time frame. But that's not necessarily the point, and everyone's gonna have different play styles. So let's take a look at our wonder pick. And I'm saving up my um 
timers for a 10 packer a 10 packer -uni. i like to open that at a time i think it's pretty exciting Ooh, this is a decent pack at least stuff we don't have I'm looking for mewtwo pikachu Ooh, another gardevoir i might open that one or, you know pick at it whatever mm, i don't think i want this one mm -mm. dratini Ooh, a rolls on this one okay i think we're gonna go for gardevoir and rolls today on these picks I i'm a top right man i always pick top right the second i don't pick top right it's going to be top right so that's just how we rock <laughs> that's how we roll we're always just gonna pick top right come on gardevoir and it's not <laughs> all good all good i know it's just my system middle close you can have a thank you no bm even if you guys pick a bad card still send over your thanks you know it's that sign of respect Ooh, we'll do the rolls here too just trying to get closer to our Mewtwo combo. It started in top right, but I still think I'm going to pick top right. Ah! <laughs> okay. Not, not, not great on the wonder pick angle today. Um, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Bottom left. MJ, you can have a thank you. Let's take a look at our collection. I'll show you what I've been doing. Like I said earlier in the video, I've been traveling, so I haven't played a lot. I've, I've tried to open up my daily packs, um, which has been pretty you know i have managed to do that except one day i missed it it happens um otherwise it's been going well i haven't really found myself able to build another deck outside of the zapdos deck we've been running um i would be excited to change that up soon i'm gonna take stock today just on exactly what we have i think I, ooh, 160 in the canto decks all right let's take stock let's take a look at our collection what do we have i'm gonna see what i don't have um okay we have one ivysaur we have a caterpie which is and can I see the numbers when I no I can't okay three caterpies I want to see the numbers on this too but apparently I can't mm, okay so maybe there's like an executor angle we've got one and one Ooh, I don't have a Venusaur do I have Lilligant I have three Lilligants and two Pellels okay something there we've got Charmeleon three we need another Charmeleon we need another Charizard we do have Moltres two Moltreses pretty close to Charizard actually getting that going which is nice to see because it's really expensive Blastoise EX I don't think is particularly good do have one of them I think the base Blastoise is quite a bit better actually okay we just yoinked this Articuno which is a good start in the water zone don't have anything to make Greninja we do have Snom two Snom do we have two Frostmoth four Frostmoth okay we can work on Snom and Frostmoth Electric's looking good Jolteon I would really like a second Jolteon what pack is this Pikachu okay we have two Zapdos still, no change there. Um, okay, we have three Abras. Do we have two Kadabras? Four Kadabras. Okay, we could do Alakazam. We've got one Rolts and one Gardevoir. A little behind on that. Lightning's not too exciting for me. Dark is not too exciting. Missing a ton of steel. We have two Farfetch'd, three Farfetch'd. No Kangaskhan. Um, two Erika's, which is really good. I think we have two of these Illustration Alakazams we do. We have two of the illustrations Eevee as well. Um, you know, these crown rares, the, the prize collection of our free to play account. One, one, one illustration. We have two of these, one of these. Let me turn this off now. Let's see how many of these we have. One, 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 two of the Alakazam. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to cook up an Alakazam deck. In terms of progressing on the solo missions, I haven't made much progress on this. I don't think I have like really the water. I could maybe just try and, um, you know, whip something up. In terms of our rental decks, I haven't played around with these too much. You can see I have full on all of them. It might be worth trying the Blastoise rental deck to see how far we get. But after about 12 days free to play, I'm not 100% positive how many packs I'm at. I think we were at 40 at the end of the last chunk, and we were at 6 through 12, two-ish packs a day. That'll be down at the bottom. We have 443 cards total. I think we, we're in the one, 148 out of 266, so not great. And I really think we have the components maybe to build a second deck um that's alakazam focused i would like to put clefairy and clefable in that but i don't have that we have drowsy hypno which will probably have to go in it a jinx we're just kind of have to work with what we have um but yeah i mean one medium deck with zapdos close to charizard right, we're close to a lot of stuff i think after another 10 days and another 10 opening of packs like right i need 120 of these to do that we'll be in a good spot to at least at least at least at least make two maybe three competitive decks let's play one match with zapdos oh i think i have a fast electric let's play with that 
why well, just talk a little bit about you know my thoughts this um this lightning deck it's faster i think <sighs> so on the free to play account i really don't feel like i have a great incentive at this point to do that much besides you know if i have some free time like why i'm recording this right now tossing on a couple games outside of opening the packs um it's complicated it's not complicated it's impossible to build really decent decks at this point i understand we're early on but but it's just like it's it's a little frustrating to see um that that's where it's at right now even after two weeks because i feel like a lot of people are just gonna fall off it's not even two weeks close to two weeks you're just gonna fall off really quick at this point right you, you've opened some packs you have one deck and you're like mm, i don't love this deck you know we have people resetting their accounts re-rolling their accounts for more important decks but the casual players who will you know inevitably be the vast majority of people playing this game i think are going to peter out very quickly and it's overall going to be um just a collector app and if we wanted to just be a collector app i think that's doing uh you know a decent job at this but the game is just providing so much ease and accessibility to be more than that to be you know more gameplay focused to bring so many people in towards collecting and you know even maybe push them towards paper collecting i would like to just see you know some options for free to players change a little bit um crafting i think would be huge i talked about that and my five things i would like to see change i haven't crafted anything i don't even think frankly i can craft a single ex because you need to open 100 packs <laughs> just to get one just to get one you need to open 100 packs which is insane also i probably should attach this energy on zapdos not the sand true and we just really don't have that we don't we don't it's not it's not it's not here we, we can't craft anything it's gonna take time and i don't know how many people are going to be dedicated to opening this app every day for 30 days if after you know 10 days they're a little bored there's there's no rewards for staying around battling like if like i have one deck and if i had a reward to battle i would play a little bit more but the 15 exp is really light especially when you get so much more for opening packs um so those are just some thoughts and feelings i've had versus my pay to play account my my paid account where i have tons of cards i feel like i have a really big reason to stay I have so many options to make decks that I can stay on the app just thinking about decks to make. You know what I mean? Like, I can just sit there and be like, ooh, I want to make this. 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 Like, so I don't have a reason to, you know, leave because I'm just crafting decks. I'm just having ideas. I'm having all this stuff. Also, I, the Sand Slash is going to beat me. I, this is a bad matchup. <laughs> Fighting is a terrible matchup against this deck. Um, after I put this one energy on Heliolisk, I think I kind of sealed my fate because he one shots it. So I might just concede in a second. But I think you will understand. And I'd like to know if you feel the same way. I'm sure most people aren't playing two accounts like me. Maybe you are um, for the potential of trading. Trading might also offset some of this as well, depending on how it's implemented. If it's implemented decently, you know, there's definitely scenarios where we will see you know duplicate exes maybe trade for decent exes and things like that but just just like i said with my free to play i want a reason to stay on the app besides the two packs a day and i think that can be done a lot of different ways um i think crafting to just like add in some ease and access of cards would be one of the best ways tails okay i think we're definitely losing here because that's gonna one shot me i'm just gonna concede so i can finish my yapping i i i I just like to see those sorts of things. I think crafting would really go a long way. I would love to hear what you all would like to say. I understand the app needs to make money. I understand that as like a free to play person on this account, I'm not going to have access to all the best stuff. I'm not going to be able to make all the best decks. I want like maybe one deck, maybe two decks. And I want to just, I want to just have a good time. I want to do more than just, you know, open up and look at my collection every day. Like, sure. It's really fun to stare at my golden cards, but I want to play with them. <laughs> I can't play with them on my um other account either really just you know how it's done and what i've been but i want to play with this shiny mewtwo yeah those are just some thoughts and feelings i hope you all are still enjoying the free to play series i've got a ton of free to play content you know cooked up i've got some decks coming some paid stuff um i'd like to hear your all experiences as well and anything else you would like to see different i don't plan on stopping this series anymore after 30 days just because i've had so much support for it and so many of you pushing me to do more and more with it so thank you all for that once again, I'm a smaller new creator. Very few of you are actually subscribed to the channel. Last time I checked, I think it was below 2%. So a subscribe and interacting with this video anyway really pushes my stuff towards the algorithm to just make, st make more stuff for you all. I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh, days 6 through 13. This experience was pretty interesting for me. I was busy personally, like you saw, I was traveling. So I wasn't playing 
a ton. I was trying to open up my packs every day, which I was not always doing. But at this point, and I would love to know if you all feel this way, if you've played for 30 days or if you're about to play, this chunk, this second week chunk for me was stale. And it was stale because I couldn't do anything that I hadn't already done. The only reason I was opening the game was to either check my packs, check my wonder pick, and then close it out. At this point, right, there's no ladder. There's no... I only had a Zapdos deck. And if I only have one deck to play, that's not super fun for me personally, especially because I had already beaten all the missions at this point. All the missions are done. I have one deck, so I'm just opening up packs, trying to figure out what other decks I can make, what other things I can do. You know, still at this point, I have not quite completed all the missions, but I am pretty close. A lot of people don't like PVM because the bots are interesting. And by interesting, I mean not so great. And by not so great, I mean actually terrible at this point and make really bad decisions a lot of the times. But my 6 through 12 experience was or was a little stale. I'm not going to lie. I wish there was more things to do. I wish um, I had some more opportunities. I wish there were some different missions. And most importantly, like I've said many times before, I wish there was a ladder. Trainers, welcome back to I Play Pokemon TCG Pocket for 30 days without spending the dime. Days 14 through 21. Wow, that's a mouthful every time I say it. Today, we're going to have some fun. Let's dive into it. For day 14, I continued the trend of opening two new two packs. And my first pack opened up three total new cards, one of them being an illustration rare ditto, which I really love this card. The second pack had absolutely nothing. On day 14, I also saw three wonder picks that interest me. The first one being Gengar. I did not get it. The second one being Curlia. I also did not get it. And the third one, kind of interesting, is Clefable to toss into some psychic decks. I did manage to pick up my least favorite of the three. For day 15, I only managed to open up one Mew pack. I opened up no new cards. I tried to wonder pick staples again for my Mewtwo deck, that being Curlia, and I missed again. Will I ever be able to play Mewtwo on this free-to-play account? I don't know. Day number 16 was a great day. I managed to wonder pick a Machamp EX, which is a new EX to me. I opened up two Mewtwo packs again. I opened up a Mewtwo and a full art Venusaur, which is not only a rare card, but also another Mewtwo. Day 17 is by far the worst day I've had. I only managed to open up one pack because of how I had the timer set, and there was absolutely nothing interesting on the Wonder Pick. The new card I got was Koga, which can be used later on though. For day 18, I'm still opening up Mewtwo packs. I managed to get two new cards, nothing useful for my decks, those being an, an old Amber, as well as a Kingler. For my Wonder Pick, the first one I tried to get was a Jilteon to finish out that line. Not only did I miss it, but I missed filming most of the footage. I did get a new Mr. Mime though. And for the second Wonder Pick, I tried to get a Misty, get some water staples, and I miss, missed it. There's some there. For day number 19, I opened yet again two Mewtwo packs. First pack, I completely forgot a screen record. I went to a wedding earlier in the day and was a little tired. But for the second pack, it was really exciting and I opened up a full art Mewtwo. The game is telling me to play Mewtwo, but it is giving me none of the support I need. Let's see if we can wonder pick for some of it. For the first wonder pick on day number 19, try to get a Gardevoir, missed. For the second one, try to get a Gengar or Ghastly, missed. For the third one, I tried to get a Rolts, missed. What? For day number 20, I only opened up one pack yet again. This is truly the authentic free-to-play experience. And I tried to wonder pick a Rolts, but you guessed it, I missed again. Trainers, welcome to day 21, Dell, who provided all the recording from the previous days as well. Hi, hello. We've got some packs to open. We've got some hourglasses that I think we're gonna actually use today. I got a handful of comments on the last video of me like, Dell, you're complaining about not having enough decks. You've got packs right there. And I was like, but I wanted to open 10. And I am frankly a little sick of opening Mewtwo packs. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to take some stock. I really want to build my Mewtwo deck. Like I want to be done. I want to use it. I want to play some ladder games on my free to play account. And I have one. Okay. I have one regular Mewtwo EX right now. I have one full art Mewtwo EX. Very nice. And I have one crown rare Mewtwo EX. But I only have one Rolts, zero Curlias, and one Gardevoir. So I think at this point, I've opened up so many Mewtwo packs. I have so many rare cards from the Mewtwo packs, and I would like to work on some other things. I'm going to make the brave decision, the brave decision and use my hard earned pack points to craft the rest of these staples. I have the EXs. EXs are really expensive to craft. And frankly, I don't think they're worth it. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of the crafting system at all how it is. But at this point where I'm sitting, if I want to use these cards and play these decks, I think it's just like time. Like if I didn't have two of the Mewtwo EXs or most of it, I'd be like, okay, maybe I don't want it. But I need, oh wait, I need two Curlios, one more, and then one Rolt. 
I tried to wonder pick. Let me let me take a look at wonder pick really quick before I use the points on the rest of them. But there's one Curlia. I need one more Curly and one Rolts, and then that deck will pretty much be finished from my perspective. It's a top tier deck, something I can definitely use. I've been burned by Wonder Pick so many times. Okay, I did get Sabrina from it, so maybe I shouldn't say that. In the past week, I've had a really bad past week in terms of what I wanted, but in terms of luck, Venusaur, Full Art, Mewtwo, Full Art, pretty solid. Not Ghastly would be an okay Wonder Pick. Ooh. I kind of want to try for this Electrode. I really like it. I really like Thunder Decks too, Lightning Decks, whatever we're calling them. Let's do a live wonder pick here. Well, only it's pretty cheap, pretty affordable. Again, I'm a top right man. We're going to pick top right no matter what. Let's see if we get it. And Wubat. I think I'm, I think I'm top right might be done. Where was this bottom left? I don't want to become a bottom left person. Okay, at least it was bottom right. I did really want that though. Still a thank you, even though my wonder picks have not been picking or wonderful recently at all. So let's go ahead and craft that Curlia, craft the Rolts, sadly, and then I'm gonna open up two pack points, two packs, in addition to use my pack points today to see how far I can get. I took some stock of my collection um, before I started recording. I was able to make one deck that I think is solid, solid, solid B tier, and another one, maybe even A tier, and another one I'm not so sure about. That is going to bring us to a full Mewtwo deck ready to go um, with the Mewtwo line, Card of War line. If I want any more psychics, I can toss it in. I have all the supporters I need. And with that, I am actually going to take some time to open up Charizard packs. I'm going to do that because I have two Moltres already. I have one Charizard already. I have some Charmeleons already. I have some Charmanders already. And in addition, on the Charizard pack, you can also get Starmie EX, which is an amazing card. I don't think it's as good as Pikachu EX, but I don't have any Pikachu EX cards at all. That's what I'm doing. I'm pivoting out of the Mewtwo land and I'm pivoting into Charizard land. And I think for you all who are just starting your pack journey, ooh, Persian, that's pretty good. Polyrath, that's not too bad. Persian's been interesting. Polyrath, I think, is interesting. I don't think particularly solid, but fun to play around with, just have some more deck options. Flip a coin of heads, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Not deck, hand. <laughs> and we don't have a lot of cards in these decks. We only have 20. So if, you're, if your opponent's discarding, you only have two probably of your win condition-ish. Um, you're kind of out. If they're both in your hand. Let's Charizard number one. No, no Zardy baby. Let's go for number two. Looks like a no again. But don't worry, we're gonna be using our pack points this time. I wanted to save it up for a tenner. Uh huh. But, <laughs> but, but I'm not going to. I don't think it makes sense, especially what what I want to do and how I want to play. I want to try to do more missions this week. I want to see how far I can get before the global launch, just so I can give people a really good perspective on what 30 days looks like. Um as just, you know, a free account. And, and so far, it's been solid. I went through a little bit of a rough... Ooh, there's another Charmander. I think I needed that second one. A little bit of a rough patch in the second chunk. I think it was days like 6 through 13. I think this one started with 14. That sounds right. 6 through 13, let's say that, was a rough patch for me particularly because I didn't feel like I could make stuff I wanted to do. And I felt a little stuck on the missions. Day one felt really good. Um, I just had such amazing luck with what I was opening. Unlike now, I'm having terrible luck on what I'm opening. I'm going some new stuff. New stuff is still good. We're almost level 17. That's also pretty good. Looking on Reddit and some other places, it looks like the level cap as of right now is 50. You don't get any more EXP, which is pretty lame, I think. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm not close to that on my main account. You get most of the points just from opening packs and wonder picking. Um, outside of that plane, you know, it doesn't really give me much. Just 15 and it does cap, though. So. You get some from the missions as well. Okay, okay. Nothing good. A rare? I didn't say nothing. Heliopsile. Executor, which I already have. Looking for Starmie EX, Charizard EX, Charmeleon. I need one more. I need one more Charizard and I need one more Charmeleon. And then the, that Charizard deck will be in a really good spot for at least the basics. Kind of the other slots, the other five slots, like there's some optimal-ish cards, but you know, you can always kind of play around with full slots in any of the archetype. Ooh, uh, rare in the front, fun to see. Ooh, bat, pet Lil, Froki. I was going to say Krabby, but it's Kadabra. Nothing new. There's a level up, so we'll be able to get another pack from the level up as well. Um, We've got two more Charizard packs we can open up. Hopefully some juice in there. And I also saw some comments some people, you know, when you have these mobile games and kind of these freemium games, people complain, not, not complain, but some people would like a reasonable, I think that's an immersive rare. 
I think this is this is Charizard pack. Is that the Charizard and Mercer Rare? Armander? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! This free-to-play account? That's the second Charizard. We could. We're just gonna enjoy. Little lens flare action. Woo! <laughs> this has got to be my favorite immersive card. I don't know. The Mute actually, no, it's my favorite. I like them all a lot. They're my favorite cards in the whole set. The Charizard one's my favorite. My least favorite part about the immersive cards is the border. A little tacky MIMO. I'm in love with it. But that's our second Charizard. So we have a crown rare Charizard on this count and an immersive art. Here's of illustration. I forget the name of it exactly. This is maybe why I should have used my credits. I'm happy I didn't open this um, off a of screen record and then I saved it for when I sat down. That's great. You can have a really fun and exciting experience opening packs digitally, I think. I love opening packs physically. Something I get easily overwhelmed with if I open too many once, what exactly to do with them, how to collect them, how to display them. Um, I am going to go over an interesting video later that I'll tease kind of the digital to physical pipeline. But the digital app... Ooh, can't shine? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, what is this? Ooh, a pincer! Awesome. Shine is good. I still don't know why. Like, it didn't shine for my Charizard. Maybe because I had two new cards in here? Not sure. But again, with this digital platform, the ease and accessibility to open, to organize, to track, to play, it's so fun. It's so fun to have that all in front of you and not get overwhelmed by um so many other decisions and like i said i've played this account totally free to play now let's see how close we are to this charizard deck let me just go ahead and try to here let's set up the mewtwo deck while we're sitting here and i can keep gabbing another fun fact if you guys are doing like multicolor energy decks you can click on this energy part and trim it down like if you don't want that many in it like you know you toss in a extra psychic or something but you didn't actually want it you can take it out okay you know pretty much you know we have a mewtwo deck like cooked up it's a it's you could toss Play around with a few of the things in here but but this is the this is pretty much the 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 vibe you know what i mean it's pretty it's pretty good to go and then we're gonna move right on to our fire deck we've got two charmanders one charmeleon okay craft a charmeleon maybe i can do that two moltraces already had it um so we might rock that in this as well okay charizard charizard okay about pokeball press research two x speeds i forgot what that's called ponyta rapidash totally fine as well fast stuff while you're loading it up. I'm just going to toss in these two. I also have two Ponytas, two Rapidashes, no problem. And you know what? Frankly, I think I'm just going to craft the Charmeleon so I can play it because I want to play this. Again, I'm not the hugest, the hugest fan, the biggest fan of the crafting system. Oh, we have another Hourglass. I forgot. Because we're level 17, we'll open up one more Zard pack. We've got 18. Let's do one more. Hopefully, I just need a Charmeleon. Just one Charmeleon. We can check the Wonder Pick again. I might have missed it the first go round. It's totally possible. Unlikely, but possible. Let's see. Charizard. Boom. Ooh. Pinsir, Poliwag, Dome Fossil, and Slowpoke. I do love this card. And it's new. Okay. This is a, an awesome pack opening day. We're pretty far along on the packs. We haven't quite hit 100. Um, in total, based on where we are, we have 184 in unique cards. We have, well, almost 600 total cards. Like I said, in terms of my decks looking like right now, we've got a fully functioning Mewtwo deck. We're missing one card on our Charizard deck. Mewtwo, I think, is S tier. Charizard, I think, is A tier, not S tier. It's just a little chunky for me. And then this deck is honestly pretty interesting, too. It's like a Blaine a Blaine deck you can run with it. No, this is just a Scent Scorch deck, not the Blaine version of it. But Scent Scorch with Moltres EX, honestly, I feel like it's amazing. It's got 130 breakpoint. If you put the Giovanni on it for 10 more damage, it hits 140, which knocks out all the legendary birds. Um, It almost gets to Mewtwo if you don't have any chip damage on it. It gets Starmie. It gets so It gets Pikachu. It gets so many of the big hitters in one. And you pretty much just want to retreat your Moltres. You don't want to let them take it. Um, You know, we have a Zapdos deck. We've got a... Sin of Scorch deck, we've got a Gen or no, Jesus, we've got a new two deck. We have pieces of a Gengar deck. If I craft the Charmeleon, we have the Charizard deck. Frankly, I think I'm gonna go for it. 500 for the EXs feels really bad. I would try really bad. Really, I would try to not craft the EXs at all and build some stuff around the EXs. I think that's the best position you're in for the free-to-play account. Or at least I think that's 
what has best served me in the free to play account. What other? Did I get another mission? Oh, 180 cards in the deck. Ooh, a lot of pretty cards. Do I have two? Just one Articuno. Okay. You know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And now I really feel like I have a lot of options. I feel like I could definitely sit on this account for a while. In terms of solo missions, let me see what I need now to work on. This is a water deck. Mm, this one still might be hard, but I do have rental decks now. I'm um, quite a few of them. Yeah, so I definitely could play around with these rental decks. I think I'm going to spend the next week tearing through some of these missions that I haven't been able to get to based on my previous decks. Probably still won't do this one. Could definitely do this one. You know, I just need to put a stage one in there. Just, you know, knock through these missions, show you all if I thought I could have done them earlier, if I couldn't do them. On these expert ones, I definitely think I'm going to struggle with the opposite type matchup decks. Those are hard even for um, a paid account. You really need an error from the CPU. That is going to do it for this free to play video. You guys have said, shown so much support on the free to play videos. Thank you so much. Um, you've let my channel get monetized through pocket content. And honestly, it means the world anytime any of you watch. And I'll catch you all very soon in the next one. For days 14 through 21, frankly, things really started to shift for me. I think this is the point where you can start getting, you know, kind of a mid chunk of collections. And I was working on a few different decks, particularly I was working on Pikachu EX deck, which you all know if you've been watching. But at this point, I still have zero Pikachu EXs, but I was able to pull, you know, a Crown Rare Mewtwo and um, a couple other Crown Rares. Those Crown Rares, I then started wanting to really use them. So I pivoted myself a little bit and tried to hone in on those decks. Mewtwo, you know, needs the Guard of War line. So that's some expensive of cards and cards that are not easy to pull or on day 21 more specifically you know you just watched the video i crafted um exactly what i needed to make two more decks u2 deck is sometimes considered the best deck i think it's definitely one of the strongest ones charizard is definitely a tier if not really high b tier it's not perfect but it's very fun and people love charizard so i think after day 21 at least for me personally i was able to have three you know decent decks and one being potentially considered the best deck and i think this is a great scenario to kind of target for yourself as well after completing this is on day one and i've talked about this in a few videos pick a pack stick with the pack stick with something you really like it can be a pokemon you really like like charizard or it can be a deck you think that's going to be really strong like Mewtwo, too um as well so that's what i would do and at this point you know you can probably expect to definitely have one deck two decks or three decks if you get lucky and do some crafting i still think the crafting system is exceptionally expensive i don't like crafting exs because they cost five 100 pack points, which is opening 100 packs, which you don't even get until close to 30 days to opening. So it's just something to think about. At this point definitely removed the lull from the previous week, but what it did do is give me new decks to play, a reason to stay on the app a little bit longer, especially if it was my only account. Trainers, welcome back to another free to play Pokemon TCG Pocket for 30 days video. Today, we are covering days 22 through 28 and getting very close to our 30 day finale. Let's see how far I got this week. For day 22, and most of the days moving forward, I'm picking one Mewtwo, one Pikachu pack. In the Mewtwo pack, I opened a new basic Venusaur, and in the Pikachu pack, I opened a new Parasect. Additionally, I tried to wonder pick for a second Gengar EX, and as is the case with this free-to-play account, missed yet again on the wonder pick. For day 23, I opened a Mewtwo pack and a Pikachu pack. For the Mewtwo pack, I got a new basic Marowak. Pikachu pack, I unfortunately got nothing. Still very much on the hunt for a singular Pikachu EX. Additionally, I tried to wonder pick a Starmie EX and absolutely did not get it. For day 24, the first pack I opened up was a Mewtwo pack, and unfortunately, I did get a Curlia just a few days after I crafted it. Just a couple pack points, but it's still pretty disappointing. For the Pikachu pack that I opened up second, I did get a brand new rare Gyarados, which is another one for the collection. With the wonder pick on day 24, I tried to snag an Illustration Weezing rare. I had a lot of points accumulating at this point. But unfortunately, I missed. But a pro, I got Bulbasaur, and that was the last Kanto started I needed to unlock two different achievements. For day number 25, the first Pikachu pack I opened up shined. And like you all know at this point, a shine means something good. And I got a Gyarados Illustration Rare. The Illustration Rare cards are my absolute favorite in the set, I think. Maybe behind the Charizard Immersive card. But getting just more new things in my free to play account, I was absolutely thrilled. I opened up another Pikachu pack this day as well. Unfortunately, I got nothing new, but at least we got one thing to shine. I tried to wonder pick for a Pikachu this day, and like with all the wonder picks every single day, I swear I missed again. For day number 26, I opened up two Pikachu packs. On my first Pikachu pack, I got a new Arcanine EX, um, which is not particularly good, but it is good to get another one of these. And for the second pack, I also opened up a Pikachu pack and got nothing new. For day number 27, I opened up two Pikachu packs and received no new cards out of either of them. 
but I did level up. And for my wonder pick, I tried to get a Misty. This is a really good staple I don't have any of yet, and I missed. Again, no wonder picks were successful this week. <laughs> Hello! It's day 28, Dell. I hope you enjoyed the week recap. As per usual, we are getting super close to the global launch, which happens on Wednesday, October 30th. I will have had my 30 play review from the trial period out by then. Right now, I know I had a rough patch in the middle, but I'm having a really positive experience on the free to play account. Something I'm struggling with still is some of the PVM player versus monster missions. I haven't delved into them a ton. I managed to beat the basic ones, which do give you the hourglasses, which are going to be what people's most interested in. And in terms of total collection, I have 170 out of 226, which is honestly really good for spending zero dollars and not even having the premium pass. And I have 18 illustration or 18, you know, star rares, which are not EXs, but you know, your illustration rares and things kind of like that. And two crown rares, which that is extremely lucky. Um, as you all know, my pay to play account, which has been about 300 US dollars also only has two crown rares on it. People who have spent the max amount, other creators have no crown rares still. So that's crazy. This account is truly blessed. So today we're going to open up some packs. We're going to chat. First, we're going to take a look at the wonder pick. I'd love to know your all experience. Have you played so far up until this date? Have you watched the series and are just waiting for the actual global release? Is there something you think is really missing from the game that is like preventing you from playing? I'm recording this on the 24th. They just turned the VPNs back on, which was super unfortunate. Um, I had to get another VPN on my account to access it. And what am I looking for here? Oh, Ghastly might be good. I have an illustration for Gengar EX that I would love to use. Actually, let's go for that. Yeah, I would just love to know how you all are feeling. I'm getting really excited for the launch. There seems like there's a ton of things coming out. My biggest complaint I've talked about before, I just really want a ladder. There are a handful. This account <laughs> can't wonder pick to save its life. There are a handful of grassroots tournaments, um, which have been really cool. There's some discords for those. You can find all of those on, you know, just the Pokemon TCG Pocket Reddit. Um, that's been nice to see. But just having something dedicated in the app, I think would really bring me over the edge to like play this a lot and play it every day um for a long time outside of that that was disappointing wonder pick i am going to open up i think i'm going to open up pikachu packs because i want pikachu actually there's a really cool thing i had not been using this feature at all but you can filter um by the packs what you're missing so if you go to booster pack not specified let's go to pikachu pack let's go to pikachu pack and not clear it and click okay so this will show me everything i'm missing the pikachu pack so i've got caterpie but i'm missing the caterpie line um missing basic blast toys you know almost star this pikachu ex Magneton, Idol Queen, Wigglytuff EX, um, an Eevee? Is this an Eevee? Oh, Chansey. Oh, some fossil stuff. And it won't show these, it doesn't look like. Oh, unless I have all of them, which I might actually I might have all of them. So this is Charizard because um, my brain totally did not compute what I was just looking at. Charizard. Okay, we have like half a Greninja line. Star you. Okay, Charizard has a Star you Starmie line. I should know this. EX line. We do have an Articuno EX already. It's kind of like, what do I want? I think I'd rather have Pikachu, to be honest. I really like that deck. Um, I think it's one of my favorites. So I think we're just going to open up Pikachu packs today, see what we can get. About a week of playing, I guess you get roughly 62 <laughs> hour classes, um, give or take a little bit, just by logging in, leveling up. Leveling up, I think, gave me 12 and things like that. So you do get quite a few and you can save them up throughout the week. Um, I've been I, I I've been pleasantly surprised with the offerings. Ooh, two good things in here, but no shine. I don't understand why it shines. What if it's because I have both of them already? Oh, Nido King. Okay. I do like this art. Again, the illustration cards are my absolute favorite. Miamfu, Eevee, Blastoise. Oh, that is new. See, I would have expected this to be like a good pack. Like if this pack shines to me, I'd be like, okay, this makes sense. I got a new rare card. I got an illustration card. Like, all right, but it doesn't. I still don't understand why packs shine. Like I can just get a Pidgeot illustration and it'll shine. I'll be like, okay. Oh, 191. I'll be like, okay, I love that, but... Why are you shining? I don't know. Today, I want a Pikachu EX. Oh, I wasted a timer there. If I waited nine minutes, I could have got one more timer. You can min max these, okay? If you if you really if you really want to. Um, that is not necessarily my prerogative today, but I'm gonna see what other decks I can build today. I think I can build. Um, I saw a comment in the video that for one of the grassroots tournaments, a Venusaur Executor deck won. And I don't know if that's just kind of like in a vacuum or if that deck's really super good. I haven't played with it a ton. Um, if you guys know that deck, I would love to know. Oh, actually, that put me at 11.9. Huh, it doesn't waste the one, the nine minutes. Um, I would really love to know about it. That would be super interesting for me. Um, but I'm going to try to build that deck. I did find the list for it. Um, and maybe we can play a couple games with it today, just with it. Ooh, another Hypno. I think that's Hypno too. I do love Hypno, um, just to like casually tech in. I think that's really strong into a lot of things. I like particularly 
it's like a dragonite style kind of vibe. okay just kidding you don't min max your packs it's still giving me 11 hours nine minutes but using 12 packs. um which is kind of cool to see actually still nothing that i you know am super hyped for no shine okay actually, i actually had a really good pack for that first one with an illustration rare gold or i think that's my second gold deck i do really like gold duck too like a fast aggressive water deck i think that's super strong i'm gonna play around with that i should see what all i can build i think for my next couple days uh my last two i've got two days <laughs> left for this series i'm gonna try and do a lot of battles with a lot of different decks i am going to show you all um you know how far oh see why does this one shine it only has one is it a new one see it's a nido queen is it new not new why did this shine but the other one didn't sizzlepeed not new sandslash not new i feel like this pack was worse than that other pack it was a good pack don't get me wrong don't get me wrong but why things in shining and why things aren't i do not understand this is a good opening today actually how many more we got one more i think yeah because we'll have 10 left too oh i think i'll get be able to get um four from logging in today i don't think i've gotten that yet but i think we'll be able to get one more and then we're gonna build that venusaur deck or some version of it whatever i can remember on the fly live play like a game game with it maybe um yeah we'll play a ladder game i'll talk a little bit more hopefully okay let's get our last couple packs i'll talk a little bit more talk about what i've seen from you all how pocket has been treating me you know just some updates it's like a chill this is like a chill hang sesh kind of in a little bit of a lull not like it's a good lull because i feel like i have a lot of reason like if this account is good like i'm it's great like i feel like free to play is free to playing really fairly um oh i got a trophy 100 colorless cards and that if you all don't spend any money on this game i think it's still definitely worth getting and interacting with um just because you do get so many options and whether you need a re-roll because you want something really specific from your account i think that's totally fine and really common practice or if you just want to see what happens over a month of time like you know like i did granted i do have an account that has everything on it so you know i'm a lot more flexible with this but i really think if if i had to give my biggest advice to people for starting if you're going to start a global launch and you've been following this series i think i would find ooh, a new metapod okay see okay for the free-to-play account of, oh, a new misty okay it is ex really exciting to just get new cards at least for me on the free-to-play account because it makes us that much closer to um just having a complete collection and mew and there were some interesting leaks today about potential dates for your new sets so it looks like maybe a mini set expansion in december question mark question mark and maybe a full expansion at the end of january which is a quicker cadence i think um because that's just a couple months well if it's at the end of january you have november december you have three months that's like close ish to the tcg i know they're not saying they're following that but um there was some leaks regarding that today okay so let's see if we have what it takes to build like this grass venusaur deck that i've been seeing okay i only have one bulbasaur <laughs> we could craft a second bulbasaur let me see let me see you need two executors i don't think i have this but i need to make this it's it's two bulbasaurs two ivysaurs one one executor regular one executor ex okay i only have one venusaur oh i do have i forgot i had that illustration here. okay it's these two these two um okay so I'm definitely a little shy on making this deck so I'm gonna say you know I definitely can't <laughs> I definitely can't quite make this deck work on here I think I'm still really at two decks it seems let's take a let me remove this okay I was close to it but I can't craft another Venusaur we can take a look and see if um one of the wonder picks maybe had a Bulbasaur in it just to maybe like strive for that to be our next next deck it is probably the closest thing I am to there's a Lilligant Giovanni um I didn't look earlier I would like another Jolteon too that would finish up my Jolteon I have like a Jolteon basic deck that I've been a really big fan of I don't think I saw a Bulbasaur in any of this there's a Metapod Wigglytuff Rolts Criminal Ooh, Frogadier mm, I don't really want to waste a timer on a Frogadier okay so nothing new there our total collection comes to I want to try out the new deck maybe we'll just play a game of Charizard why I chat our total collection comes to at the end of today 173 18 of the star rares and two out of three of the crown rare so again it's pretty close I'm to a full collection further than I would have expected for the free to play count again like I said my overall experience with free to play is really positive if you're interested in the game if you're interested in collecting at all but don't have the space don't have the resources don't have anything like that this provides an excellent opportunity to do that in a digital way that is very accessible you know and a lot of people complain 
um, with digital things, any digital things that, you know, once the server shut down, once things goes away, either your money, your time, like anything like that goes to the wayside, but anything digital does that. Like, you know, I talked about this in another video, but we went from, you know, physical music, like CDs, it just in my lifetime personally, um, you know, to iTunes. So, you know, kind of like digital ownership to, you know, truly just Spotify. Like I'm paying Spotify every month to just have music on my phone. So I traded ownership for accessibility kind of wherever I go. Um, and Pocket has felt like a lot of that for that niche. Like you can totally, this game is still geared at collectors. Like I stay on the game because I like to make decks. I like to play around. But because I have access to all of these cards, it's really driving me to want to play. And after I play a few games, I'm like, okay, that was fun. I played with a new deck. You know, I had some fun. Also, I might get my butt beat here in a second. That was really fun but I really want a longer reason to stay on the game. And that would come with a ladder, right? Like any, any card game, any, I understand like you might not want to be competitive. You might not want to be all these things, but I, <laughs> I know there's a huge subset of us that because I've played paper Pokemon before. I haven't played a lot, but I played a little and I tried to get into it. And I just like, you know, either I didn't really vibe with the store I was going to, or the times were inconvenient for me, or, you know, like, I didn't have my deck ready to go. All these different things like were hurdles and digital clients remove all of these things. Like, of course, you need a phone that runs it or a computer that runs it. Um, I do have a video on emulation. If that's something you are interested in doing, there is a emulator that is working. Now I will put that above um, if I remember. If not, it's called Moo Moo Player and you can search on the channel it's like my only three minute video. But I'll have it. This is not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Charizard in my hand. I didn't, was there a reason I didn't professor's research? Probably not because I was yapping. But, but again, I think this is a game that like almost anyone could try um, really casually. Kids, adults, you know, your significant other that has a phone, but you know, isn't necessarily really into Pokemon. Oh my God. Like a lot of us, I need Charizard and I need a bunch of energies from my Moltres Cistern or it's an L. It might just be an L. It might just be, oh, actually, <laughs> actually. Might not be an L. We need two. We need two of these. And honestly, we'll be in a pretty good spot. If I got three. That'd be amazing. Um, let's see if I can get three energies off these flips. If I get three energies, I will freak out. Okay. You will not see me freak out. Okay. <laughs> it's the laugh of sheer shock and disbelief. This is weak to water too. At least I get to see my um, immersive art Charizard RDX. But, but you know, as I was saying, I'm really loving Pocket. I'm loving creating Pocket. I am not, I'm gonna talk about myself for a minute. I'm not a new creator. I've created different types of content before. This channel is dedicated to Pocket and Pocket let me monetize the channel. Um, I had a community post about that, but thank you all. I just wanna take this time for interacting with my um, Pocket content in any way. It did let me, you know, get paid some amount of money now to make these videos for you, which just means more video for you, more access for me um, for cards and things like that. So when you guys comment, when you like the video, when you watch the video, um, it's seriously like, it brings me so much like, joy to see um, creation, like content creation take off in a way for me that it's never done before. It's just like really meaningful. So thank you all for that. And thank you to Pocket for giving me that opportunity um, that I've been chasing for a while. I felt like I really hit just like a lucky moment with a new game, with a uh, content um, that I'm super passionate about. But yeah, I think this game's great. Um, I think it's missing a couple of key things. I think the launch not the you know the regional launch has gone off really really well um in my personal opinion i think it's been really successful um at least you know from my playing on both my pay to play account and my free to play account i love the secret missions the art is like absolutely out of this world you have the given people the opportunity to be free to play if they want which is really cool um you know i don't feel like they're really gatekeeping everything behind um certain weird things like you can you can only open so many packs a day, but there's no limit on how much you can spend a day, which is interesting. They are, you know, they're putting a little bit of a time gate, but I think it's at most it's like two days of a time gate. Well, let's see if I can win this. It looks like they're disconnecting. Um, so what, what else? I have a lot of interesting stuff coming out for the final days up to the release. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to putting out for you all is just a couple of a couple more guides on my experience with the content. I put out a pack video on what I thought was the best pack, and I. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you all had different opinions. Everyone in the comment section was actually so nice and supportive, though. That was really cool to see, but I ranked Pikachu 1, Pikachu packed open 1, because I think Pikachu EX is really strong, and there's a lot of electric basic cards in that deck, and you can also get Zapdos EX, which is how I started this account with two Zapdos EX decks. Um, but I had so many strong contenders 
pushing for Charizard. And I put Charizard absolutely at the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to take time to say this here. Just pick a card you really like. Pick a deck you want to run. Just stick with one pack for a little bit upfront and get what you want. Either reroll for it or do something like that. I truly, like, at this point, don't think there's, like, a super duper, like, best pack. Like, you can get good, you know, quality decks from just opening whatever you want on the free-to-play account like I have shown. Also, they disconnected, so I might actually win, which could be cool. If your opponent's active, I'll go damage on it. This does 60 more, and I am weak to this, um, so this isn't ideal. Oh, I'll just boss it, actually. Okay. Oh, I won while yapping. Okay, but they're not even here, so. Yes, I love this free-to-play series. I am <laughs> loving Pocket. Um, I think it's doing amazing. And again, thank you all so much for interacting with these videos. Again, if you if you found me and you're new, um, if you like and subscribe, that really helps my channel out and pushes me out to other people to see me um, so they can enjoy as well. I've, you know, I've got a improved layout. No, less of the skinny phone screen, if you've seen those videos, <laughs> thanks to the emulator. Um, and my opponent did not return in time. I'm going to call that a win off of the boss's orders anyways. And I will see you all in the next video again thank you so much for watching days 22 through 28 were a little more rough and a little bit more akin to days 6 through 13. after getting my two big decks i was trying to just kind of flip-flop between um, a couple of the different packs um to look for some of the things i didn't have you know these biggest things that i still don't have are starmie ex i don't have a pikachu ex i have like one venusaur ex and at this point a venusaur ex won a pretty big tournament as well so it was something to see if i can maybe make with executor but I didn't have all the pieces for that. I didn't have all the pieces for another single really viable deck, but I was still opening packs. You know, the frequency of new cards is dropping down quite a lot. I'm opening mostly to try and get new wonder picks. I am missing every single wonder pick. I think it's like two weeks in a row where I've missed every wonder pick that I've tried to get. Um, You know, I'm a little close to a Gengar EX deck. I have a lot of half-baked decks that I can't quite finish out. And I'm thinking in another two weeks or potentially by the time we get to the final, we'll have exactly what we need to finish it out so definitely my, the high for me was day 21 and i think i'm just coming down off that a little bit on this account and still waiting for the global launch trainers welcome to the finale of i play pokemon tcg pocket free to play for 30 days that is a mouthful i should think about shortening that but these are our last two days days 29 days 30 and it is going to be a special feature before global launch let's get into it for day 29 we are doing a very special live recording instead of a pre-recorded um a lot of times i have to open up my packs pretty late in the evening just to have my account set up oh my god my wonder packs maxed out what we're going to go for today is pikachu ex still okay it's been my goal it's still my goal i really want to get it Pikachu EX deck on this count. Gonna open up my two packs and then I will see you all for the finale tomorrow. <gasps> That's a full REX. Ooh, Lieutenant Surge. Can it be Pikachu? Misty? Okay, let's go. That is a great full art. I do not have this um full art on my E or on my pay to play account, so it's really exciting. Actually, a lot of the cards here. Are totally different okay excellent pikachu pack pikachu ex is coming home it's coming home i promise i promise this is good this is a great sign misty's um really 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 strong card right now do not think i have articuno or army i don't really have a reason to use misty at all i have lapras could use with lapras but it, this is it this is our pikachu pack <laughs> it's our pikachu ex we're gonna get it couple spins for good luck you guys have a good luck ritual for your packs I do not. I usually spin. I never open the first one. I'd be curious. Who has an EX card? Oh, I think it's Blastoise. I don't think it's Pikachu. I'm not disappointed. I'm yeah, it is Blastoise. Man. No, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's my second copy. Blastoise EX is not very good, but it is exciting to get the play set. Those two packs today were spectacular, frankly. To get EXs in a pack at all is spectacular, especially ones you don't have. Um, I'm still curious to see exactly how they implement trading. I'm gonna take a look at my wonder picks here, and then maybe we'll try mission little live deck building mission action. Ooh, Rolts. No. I bet even if I grabbed that Rolts pack, I wouldn't have got it. Um, is it EX to any EXs here? Ooh, Porygon. I might take over that Porygon illustration card. Ooh, two Butterfreeze. I don't really want to use a Rewind on just a Butterfree, though. Um, let's do... I'll go for the Porygon. My, 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 my thing's full. My resource is full. My whatever these are called. I, there's so many resources in this game. I do not know what they're all called. I know shop tickets. There's a handful of shop tickets. I know pack points hourglasses top right always come on once 
please please give me give me my pick on the free to play gives me really good packs i'm so thankful for the really good packs however it didn't move it stayed in the bottom right yes king you can still get a thank you despite my hesitancy here okay let's take a look at our missions mission missionaries see what we can maybe rock and roll with um battles okay what are we missing here this is the water deck Ooh, should we try the rental like what is it knock out your opponent's active pokemon one time with a water type pokemon yeah let's do it let's do it what do we got cooking squirtle all right good deal okay i don't need the huge symbol here this feels so rude they're like mm, you're poor actually you're poor why don't you say so they're like i know okay pokeball oh pimu 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 does anyone know how to say this pimu pimu i don't know please don't please don't judge me <laughs> Ooh, an articuno okay we'll toss this down sure next turn we have war portal 40. i'm not gonna evolve next turn for sure i will uh-oh 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 they're gonna go first we just need to knock out one i don't think we have to win so let's not win <laughs> let's just knock things out Ooh, a misty could change everything with a misty just get one heads nope okay or zero that's fine i didn't want one um i didn't want a heads at all no i don't want to do this i do want to do this i do want to do this i do want to do water gun boom let's do 40 next turn Ooh, it does we will get the knockout if they do not evolve they might evolve but our hand is dead um so this feels very my first battle which i guess this is definitely supposed to be the rental deck is rental decking like it's giving me water cards give me too many water cards come on War portal drop that energy baba baba boy right here I guess I'll load up Articuno next let me take a look the point active paralyzed yeah we can rock that okay I think that's mission complete I'm not sure if I can see it if it works or not so I don't think I'm going to I think I'm going to play this through do you all like <laughs> free-to-play missions please ignore the low power <laughs> power on my um iPad there we're just gonna pretend you know that's not a thing <laughs> we're gonna kick the you guys like PVM you like player versus monster um that's what I'm calling this you can like peep I think that's generally like the term for it I generally do especially on pocket where I don't have a ladder I like a reason to stay and have a little extra little extra some some a little extra challenge um I'm gonna try one more of these see what we got because I'm really curious if I can beat all of them on the free to play how much does this do can't attack um you know what actually I don't care here retreat reek to water boom boom hit him with uh you know what this is actually kind of like a far-fetched for water deck I didn't even think about that it's a little weaker but it's a little bit bulkier boom done no evolve no nothing see look rental deck rental deck aroni it's fun it's fun it's fun to like finish it up to get a completion I definitely want to have a completion on the PVM on this free-to-play account which is going to be a little okay boom got the water knock done and done which is not gonna be super straightforward I don't think Ooh, what's this one boom rental deck it's rental deck day playing some decks you know you've seen me open packs you've seen me complain about my packs you've seen me specifically complain about my wonder picks let's have some fun let's just chill play some games I'm really excited for global launch which will be very soon once this video is posted this hand is actually crazy um but that's fine at least it is advantage I just put up um how to beat with opposite types if you all are you know for any reason struggling with getting through that it took a lot of resetting a lot of attempts um that video is about an hour long but it goes over the decks I used and how I did it pretty cool and I'm curious to see if on day 30 how much of that I can do on this account because I do not know I have actually no idea we're gonna hit him with the poison gas honestly I regret I have regrets I should have led with wheezing coughing I could have knocked this out already but you know you live and you learn and you make the same mistake again probably because we're just chilling chilling and yapping okay that's gonna do 10 more that's gonna be the knock it's three kind of expensive was this muck needs three I'll just load up for muck I'll cook up a muck here boom these are not very hard I don't know why I waited to do these I just didn't put the put it together you know what maybe I can make this deck actually I'd probably be pretty close I will take a look after this battle if we could have made this Koga kind of deck I don't think I have two Kogas I think I only have one I probably would have made it better than the rental deck to be honest I did not take a look at what it included this is 60 this steals 70 right all right 
Oh, there's our Koga. Kogaroni. But we're not going to deal with that right now. Boom. 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 You guys have a favorite deck you're playing so far? Not a best deck, but a favorite. If you are about to start your journey very soon on Global Launch, October 30th, Wednesday. I think this is going up on Monday? Two days before? Maybe Tuesday? What are you going to re-roll for? Are you a re-roller? I love to know all these things. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions. I want to know how you're feeling. I want to hear from you. Is there something you all want to see from me with the Global Launch? More free-to-play content, uh, more playing around with decks, more things I want. Please leave me, you know, a countless number of suggestions below. This is for your all's benefit. It's for my benefit to have fun and make content um, that you all enjoy, that I love making, but you all are the ones who watch and get something out of it. I'm just going to do these two missions today. Wait, actually, I'm going to see if I can do... I'm going to see if I can build that deck I just used. Okay, are we done with the beginner? No, we're not. What's left on the beginner? We can finish up the beginner. Oh, grapple lock. Let me see if I can build the Koga deck, and then we're going to do that grass type mission. Okay, I have zero... No, I cannot make this. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> okay, we needed the rental. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I don't have. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I went to, I was like, oh, I bet I can make that. I bet I have Wheezy. <laughs> I have all this stuff. Literally, <laughs> literally empty. Okay, Venusaur EX rental. Grass type. Okay. Boom. Let's 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 demolish this grapple lock. Again, these are fun. The beginning ones aren't particularly hard. These only give you shop tickets, so the rewards aren't great. Beating them one time, the rewards are good. You do get hourglasses. You do get shop tickets. You get something else probably that I'm forgetting about. Okay, out of all these things, I got ratata, ratata, ratata. I posted a video and I said ratatata, ratatata, so many times, and you guys got so mad at me. Like that's just what I call it. I'm sorry, not ratatata, rat. I don't, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Ratata. I think it's supposed to be Ratata, and I said Ratatata. Will I always call it Ratatata? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> yes, I will. You can, you can be sure. You can be sure I will always call it that. Ooh, we could go for this. Go, go. Um, actually, I'm just going to go for Bubble Sore. I need to get the knockout with this, so. These, um, rental decks are not optimized <laughs> very well. It's gonna deal 60. I'm just gonna let it deal 60, frankly. Like you can you can have that, homie. You know what? I should have done it on Ivysaur. Maybe I'll draw an Ivysaur and that would solve my problems, actually. Okay, I did not. That's really not not very good. It's gonna deal 60. My Bulbasaur won't knock out, but it will not be happy. I'm just gonna let it. You can have that. You can have the ratata. Gone. Boom. Okay. I gave them a point. I know. I know. I'm ashamed. This is my fault <laughs> for planning okay we're gonna do a uh, pokeball the thin and then we're going to research to hopefully draw an ivysaur surely there's two in here surely there is two in here exact you and potion okay just kidding um i'm gonna put another one on because i mean we're bound to draw it there's no way they would only put one in it that would be crazy that would be so crazy what this is gonna do with common missions um with the rental decks looks like you definitely can Again, this is day 29. 29. I'm very... <laughs> oh, like that did so much. And did so much because like that's how much you're supposed to do. Ooh, Erica. Excellent. Okay, we can do Erica on you. We can do a grass energy on you. You are not going to get knocked out by anything. We can, you know, evolve you for, you know, basically no reason. I thought there'd be another Ivysaur. Is there only one Venusaur in here? Oh my God, you know, I think there is. There's only one Ivysaur, one Venusaur. That is not very good. Definitely want at least two Ivysaurs. Like, I can understand the rental deck only running one Venusaur. Like, fine, fine. But only one Ivysaur. I have to take a look. But I probably won't. <laughs> I probably forget to do it. Oh, here we go. Just kidding. It runs two. I'll get off my high horse here. I'm gonna potion that. Boom. It looks like we're going to beat this. Okay, the rental decks are great for the beginner one. We'll see how far we get. Tomorrow on the finale and after the finale i have a surprise too before it all goes live i think you all very much enjoy it i will not spoil exactly what that is but no no i'm going nowhere no pokemon pocket launched this channel this free-to-play account launched this channel too um i have a ton in store i'm just really excited is this venusaur yes that's venusaur i'm really excited for what's coming there's so many cosmetics there's so many events coming that have been data mined and leaked and i cannot wait to cover that all for you on both accounts free to play pay to play however you want to play 
And that will do it for day 29. I keep wanting to say 28. And I will see you all tomorrow for me, but it'll just be in a few seconds for you. Okay, before we get into it, get into it, I have show and tell that I want to show you all. I went to a card convention this weekend, and I picked up Charquas. <laughs> you guys think this is an official um, Pokemon TCG plush? <laughs> I, I was obsessed. I saw it, and I said, you know what? I think I have to buy this. So I did. And I wanted to share it with people who would enjoy it, hopefully just as much as me. Let's open these last two packs of the day and see what we get. Um, once again, we have a live special feature, unlike previous ones where I, you know, kind of record the week, blah, 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 blah. Wanting to last two days, you know, I need to give, give folks something good. We're looking for Pikachu EX. Will we be blessed? No. Pack number one, it's a negatory, folks. It's a negatory. Almost 19. Almost 19. One more. One more Pikachu back. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. I know it's going to be something good in here. I'm just going to... A little extra spin. This is our last pack before. Our 30 days is up. There's no shine. No. Uh, no Pikachu. E oh, a new Chansey, though. Art is very cute. Art style is amazing. Important to appreciate the little things. I wonder if that brings our total collection number two. Drum roll. Probably shouldn't do it on my desk and should just add it in post, but you know what? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm thrilled. One, seven, 190, 195, 174 out of 226, 19 um, star cards, and two crown rares. The the gem of this count is those two crown rares. Let's check our wonder pick. I always click on deck instead of wonder pick. Let's check our wonder pick before we move on to some missions today. I played some missions yesterday. I'm going to play some more today. Oh. Should we? I'm going to. Oh, Floral Trace. Come on. Top right has, it's been, it's been weeks. I think it's been weeks since I've gotten something good out of top right. I should probably stop and I 100% should stop. I got a Cottony. Where's the Mole Trace? Where was the Mole Trace? <laughs> my Wonder Pick. Please. Oh my God. Right next to it. Wonder Pick. I really love the feature, but it's starting to feel a little bad. I'm not going to lie. For <laughs> me personally, it's starting to feel like a terrible disaster. And I went just, oh, that. I want to oh, the game. You know what I mean? Tarquaza. Ah! No, no, <laughs> no. I want a Pikachu. Uh, no Pikachu EX. No more decks we can build. Not too much different from yesterday. Um, ooh, 100 water type cards. Very cool. We got one new card on our last day. It was really exciting. Um, we can finish up our missions here. Get our four pack points. I'm going to be saving these pack points up um, probably for a little bit. Probably a week. Weeks worth of pack points. What's that? Seven times four. Wow. Like a <laughs> 28. <laughs> it's, it's 28 pack points. I promise I can math. Um, I promise I can math. I say that now. Um, just you wait. Okay, let's just play some missions. See how far I get. I'm going to rock some rental decks. I'm going to yap about some things that are expected. Oh, I finished this one already. Let's go. It's nice that I can just kind of use the rental deck and turn my brain off. Two water mons. All right, last toys it is. Global launch coming up so soon. There are so many things expected, so many things that have been leaked. New sets, dates for new sets have been leaked. Right now, it's looking like there will be a mini set at some point in December, as well as a full set, A2, whatever we want to call it, coming in, coming at the end of January, which that time frame is, is pretty solid. You know, three months. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of things. There was another chunk of little leakeroonies that have come out showing that there's going to be a lot of weekly events um implementing a lot of different gotcha style mechanics where you know they're kind of oh play this week get a card play this week you know get a card get an event get a thing do your thing blah 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 um implementing potentially you know artificial scarcity by locking these things behind sort of a time gate um you don't know if they're gonna come back you don't know like are you gonna miss out if you never do it again like all these different things also i think i'm just going to load up this squirrel back here to be honest so those are coming up. Um, overall, my experience, we've talked about it a few times, and I'm going to talk about it again because we're playing, we're playing some of these missions. For a free-to-play player, for a free-to-play player, my experience has been, personally, I would say fantastic. I think my account, frankly, might be a little on the lucky side. Um, I say that as I get heads on Misty. Oh, two, two heads on Misty. Um, so I can, oh, I can't retreat. Well, I can maybe retreat next turn and just start blasts start blast toising. Oh, I can already do that. Okay. I will start hitting for 100. I'm um, next turn. 
um, start blast toising them right off the, you know, ledge. Here, I'm going to Professor's Research first, just see if I can get a little farther. But I think the experience is great um, from a pack opening perspective. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I think it's good. Let's say, you know, let's say you're a casual player. You know, you like watching these videos because you want to know what you can. Yeah, I put this up. What can you expect as a free to play player um, from Pokemon TCG Pack in terms of just pack opening? You know, what it's currently designed to do is just to open packs. You know, there is gameplay in it. The gameplay was pitched, but that wasn't the purpose of it. That never was. The purpose of it was for a premium pack experience. I think it does a fantastic job at that. I think it does a fantastic job when you pay, I, you know, to get different things. I really like secret missions that were involved, like Mew, um, a handful of other things that we've seen with time. have been really great to just see generally. Um, you can pretty much expect to have a deck to use if you want at the end of 30 days. Definitely one really solid one. I've got set up for. I'm gonna preach it again. Pick a deck you want to see. Mewtwo, you know, Starmie is kind of hard. Mew, it's kind of like Mewtwo for me personally. I'd pick between like Mewtwo or Pikachu, maybe Charizard, whichever one you like best. Just open those packs until you get those cards. How do you get those cards? You know, do whatever you want. <laughs> move on. Move to something. Else. Oh my god, this boss place is so much. Free to play. What have I got? And I've gotten exceptionally rare with my crown. Exceptionally lucky with my crown rares, but with a little bit of crafting, I managed to fill out decks that I want to use and play. And if I just want to open packs, like I got what? I have 195 of the total 226 um, set, I think it was saying. That's a lot for 30 days. That is a huge, huge amount, in my opinion. I haven't delved like totally into exactly how far you get with the missions, which is the rental decks. But frankly, it seems like pretty far. That's what we're doing kind of now. Um, I might do a montage, but these are kind of just live, live thoughts and feelings. But number one, free to play. The, the experience feels very premium, feels very fair. There was a lull, you know, maybe that was just because it's not global launch. We don't have like all these events and things that are giving me my, you know, my artificial lull. Maybe everyone can expect to have, I never put a stage one Pokemon into play. Let me just use a regular deck then. I'll just rock my, <laughs> I'll flex. I'll, fl I'll flex, I'll flex on this one. Um, put a stage one. Pokemon, I wonder if Mewtwo counts with that. I wonder why I didn't get that checked off. I'm not going to dwell on that. Free to play. Solid. I loved it. Pay to play. Solid. I loved it. I love having different decks to play with. I love having different options to play around with. I love, you know, all this different stuff. I've talked about my qualms. I've talked about things that I think we, I would like to see. Um, number one on that list. Wow. Love this Mewtwo. Is, of course, some sort of ranked ladder. For me, as a content creator, um... It's easy. I love making deck profiles. I love making creative, unique decks and having a ladder to, you know, test it would be great. But in terms of a funness, opening packs is fun. Like, I don't think enough people are talking about that. For paper Pokemon, I, oh, let me do this first. I love master sets. I have like one full master set and like three or four that are really close to all the way. I'm, you know, waiting for some cards to go down and things like that. But opening packs on this game feels great. The experience is very solid. It feels very premium. It feels very polished. I love flipping through the carousel. I love the experience of, you know, the, uh oh, there's my mail. I love the glow. Am I going to lose this? No, 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 no. We'll just rock the Mewtwo. Wait, she'll do 60. I think this is fine. Wait, I need to think. I've, yeah, I might have to swap. Force the swap to Firo. I'm going to lose to the computer. I don't have a Rolts. I wonder if this one I was testing. Um, Some people are preaching where you only run only run one Rolts in this deck. And I wonder if that's what's happening here. I'm going to force the switch here on them because I don't want to get hit for any of that. Um, You know, we're close to the components. I'm going to red card them as well. They're red carded. Okay. The pack opening experience. Back to what I was saying. It feels amazing. It feels great. Opening 10 feels great. The shine feels great. Even though I feel like I'm on the eternal hunt, the eternal mystery to exactly what <laughs> the shine means. I see so many things. Initially, people thought it was the rare pack. It's not the rare pack. That I do know. Um, I just call it a good pack. You get good cards in the pack and, you know, you just kind of move on. Like, <laughs> but how many good cards you're getting, I don't know and I don't understand. And maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe that's just the way it is. Okay, we'll get the knockout on this. Um, okay, this is looking kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. I might lose. There's a decent chance I lose here. That's actually so embarrassing. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, let me bust out my Mewtwo deck, flex on everyone, and then automatically lose. When you pay to play and you open up the max amount of packs for the day, opening 10 packs is solid. I love it. It's great. It feels good. Oh, they swapped it out. I would recommend everyone at some point. Oh, there's a Rolts. Some point in their pocket journey, save it up and open up 10 packs. I definitely have potions in here, so I might have to switch this out, frankly, because I have zero knocks. 
Um, maybe next turn we'll switch. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Ten packs feels great. Shine packs feel great. The cards look amazing. You know, like Flar, for example. Boom. And the Paper TCG. I am not a fan of gold cards. I think they are ugly. The Crown Rare cards, when you go like this. I love it. Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't good. We're going to have to Curlia. I can get the knock. Oh, none of it has energies. Yeah, I think that's what I do. I'm gonna do this. I don't think I have anything else in this deck. I don't think this does anything. No. Oh, I damn running two rolls in those. Okay. I was like, there's one where I was trying where I wasn't, and I didn't really like it. I'm happy to see that I'm not. Um I wanna swap this out and pop this in next turn. So that is probably going to be the plan. Opening packs though. If you want to just open packs, get this game and open packs. You know, you don't have enough money to buy real packs. Oh, collecting Pokemon cards is very expensive. Being a collector of anything is very, very expensive. Like this wall of like, I can't point. This, this, these boxes, these sealed boxes of me, they probably cost me a thousand dollars just to have. Like there is no reason, like I have no reason I should have this. Oh, actually, I think I'd be able to do this. It is so expensive. It's fun. It's something I like to do. Um, you know, I don't really, I'm not like an investor. I don't hold, I just like Pokemon. And I like the way it looks, and I like um, childlike whimsy, um, and so I buy it. And the and opening packs on this can let you relive that experience to some. Oh, do they have Giovanni? No. Okay. Let it, opening packs on this game can let you relive that to some experience. Um, you know, whether it's like you like, well, for any reason that you like opening packs, this game's a great thing to do it two times a day. It's free. I highly recommend the. Premium pass as being the reasonable spend option. Recently, I went through and did the math. Um, usually, I think a pack is $1. Wait, let me look, actually. No, I'm forgetting. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Premium pass is 10, month, 10, 10 months. 10 months. $10 for 30 days. If you buy the premium pass, it is 10 US dollars. Okay, five Poke Gold will reduce your timer by 10 hours. It's like a little more than a dollar a pack, right? It's like a dollar. That's five sixths of the pack. So you need a little bit more than a dollar. That's ten dollars for thirty packs, so it's like what thirty cents a pack. Pretty good. You have to wait for it to appreciate, but I think ten dollars on entertainment um, is a totally reasonable spend. You know, it's akin to a Spotify subscription, a Netflix subscription, anything like that. And you know, you can treat your entertainment however you want. Um, if you want to treat it, what is this? Win this battle by turn fourteen. All right, we'll just use me two again. Interesting tasks I did not finish. Um, I think this accomplished this. It's fun. I have not. The closest mobile game I got into for a little while was Marvel Snap. Um, I've talked about that a few times on here. I made a video comparing it. I did not stick with Marvel Snap. Um, they for just like a lot of reasons. I, you know, I'm not and that Marvel is not like my biggest IP. I love the Pokemon IP. Um, I love the experience of collecting and opening packs. Marvel doesn't really have like so much of a opening. If you like opening stuff like loot boxes or anything, it doesn't have that experience in it. So I don't think that kept me hooked. I do still think the gameplay in Marvel Snap is superior. Um, it is gameplay driven first. This app is clearly collector driven first. And again, I think that's fine. I don't think there's enough people talking about how good of a collection experience it really is for both a pay to play and a free to play player. Um, I spent $300, $350 on my pay to play account. I have two copies of every EX card. That's not necessarily like a standard rarity of it. Um, some of them I have, you know, one illustration rare, one um, regular rare and stuff like that but i have two copies i have a play set of every single card um with that amount which i think is really good and i've been really happy with that value attached to that um by paying that money you know to do that and now on the pay to play account i want to pay play the game i don't and i want to like cook up different decks so it's a little bit of a different experience you still can open up two packs every day it was really fun and do different challenge missions on the free to play account i feel like it's definitely more about just like getting new cards. I feel like I get to savor it more. Like when I see a new card, I get really excited. Like I saw the new um, today, Chansey. On my pay to play account, I'm not going to be that excited about opening up my first Chansey to be honest with you. Like that's not really that fun. But on the free account, it is really fun. I guess that's kind of like, I don't know if any of you when you were kiddos used an action replay on your games. Um, I remember one time I used an action replay on my Pokemon game. It lets you cheat in your game. Um, for any of those who are too young to remember what those are or too old to have hit exactly what they're it lets you cheat um you can put in cheese and basically you can make every pokemon shiny you can make um you know you can catch every pokemon you can give yourselves all master balls after you do that like the game got less fun and i think i don't want to say like packs necessarily got i didn't have to use that packs didn't get like less fun to open but you don't appreciate as many things like it's like it's the journey 
on the free account. Um, I feel like I'm the gospel of free free to play accounts. All hail the free to play account, and I think that's fine. <laughs> I, I love the experience on it. Um, you guys have loved the free to play content so much, which has been really cool to see as well. That this is what people are looking for, and this is what people want. And I want to give you all what you want, you know. And I am absolutely like enjoying the free content so much. Also, Zebstrika is not going to knock me out or Blitzel. Zebstrika can. We'll see if it does. Um, I am running out of thoughts for the finale here. I, I, I'm probably not going to go through. Oh, no. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Retreat. 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 No, no. <laughs> um, I didn't lose. Um, but I need to win by turn 14. What turn is it? I'll have to look. This is not good. Turn 11. Oh, I think I can. I don't know if actually I'm good. I need to force a switch here on something. Let us Sabrina. Or wait, let me first do this. We need a uh, yeah, well, Brina. I'm going to hit him with the Brina. See what they do. Okay, Spiro, that is perfect. We can almost, hopefully they leave that in. Or even if they evolve it. Um, maybe they, oh, they're going to evolve it. Oh, there's the retreat. Only 30 on the Zebstrika. That is not fine, actually. Oh, I can evolve it. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Crisis averted. Oh, I can actually, I'll just do this. I'll do some of these on this. I will, you know, I don't need a Giovanni, so I won't. I will hit for 60. They'll probably retreat it, frankly. Um, the AI plays a little bit weird. But okay, if you're interested in this game, my final thoughts are pain is good and fun. And I liked it. I like playing with the different decks. Free to play is good and fun. <laughs> it has a great premium pack opening experience. And if they do the cadence that they're expecting to do, I got most of the cards I wanted in Verity. Most, almost. Okay, I'm missing Pikachu EX. Got almost all the cards I wanted in 30-ish to play days, or at least, you know, to the point where I feel like I can win and be most of the people, not all of them, but a lot of the PVM missions outside of some of the EX or the, some of the Master Ball level ones. It's great. Um, I am fully endorsing, you know, most aspects of this gotcha Pokemon game. Um, I think there's a couple things I want missing, but as it stands right now, fantastic. Um, I've been thrilled with the product that the team has released um, in terms of a pay to play and a free to play player. I'm really excited to see what they do. Thank you all so much for the love and support you have shown the series and just my videos in general. And a su surprise announcement is actually not that a surprise. I'm going to continue the series. I was going to stop at 30 days, but so many of my comments were like, I love this. Like, keep going. Um, please don't stop the 30 days. Like, it gives us a great perspective on different things like you being ahead, what it can look like and what we can do or potentially expect maybe with our accounts, you know, with identical luck. And with that, Charquaza and I will see you in the next video. Thank you all so much. I hope you all enjoyed this retrospective of my time playing free to play for 30 games, giving you some additional commentary. You all have absolutely blown up the series, specifically this first episode. It was integral to monetizing my account, which just means more content for you all. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the movie and the long form and the commentary as well. And like with most of my videos, like and subscribe, comment. It pushes my video to a bigger audience and it is really important, especially for a new channel and a new game.